Holy crap. Welcome back, everybody, to Curse of Strahd. Um, well, I don't know if today will be the last episode. I don't think it will. It's not going Probably to be. Probably not. Well, we already said it's not going to be. Because... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But, like, the last episode of Curse of Strahd. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be. We're going to destroy this fool. Uh, we'll see. No. We'll see. He's going to die. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up to him. <laughs> go slap, slap. Mm -hmm. Power word. Oh, no. Jake, Jake and I were talking about it a little bit earlier. And he was like, I have no idea, man. He's like, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to It's entirely possible. I just don't know. A little fun fact about Curse of Strahd. If you go up into a specific area of the mountain, dig down for exactly one hour, you will find a scroll of Power Word Kill. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dang, I thought you were going to say. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You find so, lava, but. Mm hmm. That too. Never dig straight down. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. And you have to dig straight down to get to it. Mm -hmm. Oh Minecraft man. It's surrounded in bedrock. Alright. Oh, fuck. I don't have a diamond pickaxe yet though, so. <laughs> you can't break bedrock. This was an actual problem. Yeah. I had to dig out holes in Minecraft Castle oh, Ravenloft, no. and I was just like, God damn it, and I. <laughs> then you fell in the lava? Mm -hmm. No, there was no lava. Uh, okay. If you dig past it, you actually. just. You just fall through the earth, don't you? Bedrock? Mm -hmm. If you can do, you actually die. It doesn't go yeah, you just, just go boop, and then you die. Anyways, we have the board camera working today, so... Can we just play Minecraft instead? Though, so. I know, right? Let's yeah. <laughs> just play Minecraft, I guys. My, I'm scared. I am afraid. Oh, the light's still on. Moose likes to play it. Yeah, he does. Uh, Tim? Yeah. Can you get the light? <laughs> yeah. Ag. Ag? Oh, no. Agriculture. It's the life me of California. You guys ever watch the TV show The Nanny? The name? No, the it nanny. was terrible oh. because it was yes. voice. Yes, I've seen that. My mom loved it. You guys made that noise and reminded me of yeah. Fran. Yeah, that's me embracing my Jewish woman inside of me. <laughs> you have one? You don't? Sorry. Last we left off, <laughs> um, you guys were in Bilwaukee preparing to head to Castle Ravenloft, gathering as many allies as you possibly could. You're on the final march there. Um, you guys stopped in Vilaki, you got your final allies, and uh, uh, Ira and Talman had a important. conversation, not an argument. And uh, Talman left um, to go sleep somewhere else. Do you um, think it was an argument? I think it was more of like a, a, a discussion of a difference of morals. Yeah. <laughs> not morals, of a difference in like Motivation. the way we see the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have no memory of you guys talking. Really? <laughs> Are you okay. serious? That was a really good moment. Anyways, um, you guys head back to the Blue Water Inn. And I didn't ask for Siri at all, ever. You said serious. Except for those times where you want to show her to us, and you're like, Doesn't dude, work. look at Siri. Yeah. Seriously. You guys are in the Blue Water Inn. And you have tonight. Maybe the last night. What are you all doing? Rocking out. Rocking what, out. what does that mean? He, he gets so pumped playing his music, he breaks his dulcimer. Yeah. He's sad. Jeez. And if, and if I don't break it and playing it, then I pick it up and I yeah. throw it at someone. So you just create a giant party of aws of just fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will play the not chill tavern music, Tim. Yeah, there's Can nothing. Get the cat up? Yes. Okay. And he was not happy. He bit me on the way. Oh. oh. Poor six. Uh, you guys ha uh, uh, nearly destroy the Blue Water Inn on your final night of, of being in, in in maybe Barovia, maybe forever. Um, but you, uh, everybody drinks and laughs and eats food and, and, and plays songs and you smash your dulcimer and Esmeralda thinks it's awesome. And then, um, and then uh, uh, it's, it's just overall a, a really great night. Is there anything you're doing, Ari? Playing. Partying? Partying. Cool. Ira, are you also partying? Yeah. Okay. Um, everybody has a great, awesome night as um, as um, you all enjoy the festivities of one another before you... What you Is it too much to ask if I ask, if I ask how much uh, about how the rest of the group reacts to this party night? Sure. Um, so Godfrey sits in the corner, uh, drinking silently, but smiles and kind of... Uh, goes along with everything. He's kind of like, yeah, yeah all right. All right. Um, <clears throat> uh, does, he three... have, does he like ever tap his foot? Oh yeah. Okay. That's all. Um, the three were ravens. Um, Adrian is sitting next to Godfrey, but the two boys are, are dancing around on top of tables um, with uh, probably you two and uh, Esmeralda, who's also doing that. Um, 
Uh, Nikolai is, uh, is, like, trying to get into the party, but he's got this weird dad energy, and it's just kind of weird whenever he's near her. He's like, oh, yeah. And he's, like, trying to dance. Yeah, it's like, all right. I got this. And he's he's like, oh, back in the day. I can do this. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh-huh. Rudolf Van Richten um, is almost a, nearly as, as grumpy as Godfrey, except he doesn't ever Wait, dance, isn't he a bard? So. Yeah, and then eventually he gets in and he starts playing music as well. But like, like, okay, you guys are having fun. I'm gonna be over here and play music too, just to be cool. Like that's what he's doing. Like he doesn't even dance with Esmeralda or anything. No. Dang. Mm. Yeah, he's cold. Um, I'm gonna have to get. Emil and Zulika get into it a bit. They they start dancing around, except they have like it's very wild, weird energy. Like they're barefoot and they like yip and holler at everything that you guys are doing. It's like all right, but okay. Um, the right. yeah. Donovich is kind of standing, tapping his leg, just kind of clapping along, like having fun. Um, and uh, <laughs> Morden Cannon is in the back of the room. What about? And then eventually, throughout the night, dancing lights appear at the top of the tower. <laughs> 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 and they're just play? flashing different colors. What? Does Cloven play? And Cloven gets incredibly drunk and Ask sings him. and wails and, and plays his violin and everybody tries to ignore him, but you can't because he's is too the, loud. Is the other baby happy? Uh, yeah, it's like <laughs> the whole night. And it's, and it's, it's the snake tongue's like, and it, it, it's having fun, you think, or it's an extreme amount of pain, you can't tell. Um, oh, and uh, Ismark also gets in with the festivities, he dances and, and sings and Everybody uh, has a pretty great night. Um, Tom will be out at the church uh, praying and reflecting. Sounds good. <clears throat> Eventually, the night winds down. And you guys head to sleep after a long night. If you can sleep. Like a baby. Some of you are a bit anxious about what is happening the next day. I can't sleep on myself. All right, there you go. And you're asleep for a minute, and then you wake up. Ari well, I'm and Ira down. and Tommen, I want you guys to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, you know, dice went for Dungeons and Dragons. It is the night before everything goes down. You are nervous, scared, and you don't know if you can rest. 17. Okay. Wisdom? Mm-hmm. Uh, 15. I also got a 15. You guys feel confident with what you will do the next day. And you do fall asleep, eventually, through the night of of partying, having fun has alleviated a lot of your stress. And you wake up the next day, very quickly. It's very dark outside. Clouds are rolling above, some thunder in the distance. Some of you come out of the tavern, you make your way downstairs as others are getting ready. Godfrey putting on his armor, he's Mark sharpening his sword, Esmeralda gathering her things. Everybody is preparing for the day. I'm gonna cast Druidcraft. Okay. Does it look like it's going to rain? Yes. Um, as we're sitting and I get ready, okay. um, I'm gonna just kind of sit in the back and like look. Um, we had previously said there was a loot, right? That, yeah. like, that I had. Cool. I'll grab that and I'll just kind of start like plucking away at it like you, quietly. You pluck away at it. It is... It's a very quiet morning. Not many are talking. <clears throat> Gather the insight and idea. Many people here are contemplating that they may die today. It's somber and it probably makes them feel better, but they don't vocalize it. But you play it anyway. In that case, um, though this isn't really my my forte, and it's more going to be me reading than singing this, I may have wrote something. Um, okay, sure. This. Read it. Um, as, as, like, he's watching and just kind of viewing the, the opinion, mm-hmm. he'll just kind of, like, like lightly, lightly uh, murmur the lyrics, like he's not singing out loud. Sure. Um, but it goes, uh, the story of all, a group who may tell, destroy the dark, the, destroy the dark lord, peeling back the veil, freeing everyone, our goal all along, to get out as well, this our final song, we're in this together, the people in the land, if we come out of this alive, everything would be grand, the story for all, a group who may tell, destroy the dark lord, and for freedom set sail. And that does lift everybody's spirits. Many, uh, um, a, a lot of them listen to you as you 
kind of sing away at the lyrics, um, and uh, um, and everybody feels very inspired. You give everybody ten temporary hit points, huh? even though you don't have the feet. Would that include myself? Yes. Cool. Why, thank you. Tallman steps in to hear this as well and also feels inspired. Will you all suit up, ready, prepare spells, gather your equipment? Cast mage armor. Cast a mage armor. Yep, mage armor. And head out. You guys make your way out of Velaki, heading west or east. Heading east. East. Making your way through <laughs> the dirt and the forests, winding through the roads very quiet. Nothing disturbs you along the way. No people on the road. The silent congregation of your group. Seymour? Yeah? Your shoes are untied. They're not untied? Why do you keep doing this? Because they're untied. They're not untied. I don't even wear shoes. Yes, you do. We all look down. Is he wearing shoes? I wear boots. He's wearing boots? Mm -hmm. Are they like laced boots? No. I'm pretty sure. Well, oh yes. I don't, what sure. does my character look like? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Hold on. Can I? Take a phone call real quick. Go ahead. Yeah, you do that. Ooh. Seymour starts getting messages in his head. I got reception, guys. <laughs> Seymour stops, and you look back, and you see a she, finger she, she, pointing into the woods. When, when when she says that, and I look and I see these wearing boots, I'll like go back a little bit. And I'll cast Mage Hand. Quick, while he's taking a phone call. I'll, tie cast, his boots? I'll cast Mage Hand, and I can make it invisible. And I'm just gonna untie his boots. Oh, untie. I'm try to secretly untie oh. them. They're not tied. They're just not tied. They're actually not tied. Uh, no. They're no. They are tied. Okay, I'm gonna so try to untie. Them. Yes. Oh, okay. Make a slight of Yeah. So I'm just like I like, I like back up, and I'm like Mage Hand, and I make it invisible, and it just goes. <laughs> make a slight of hand check at advantage. <laughs> invisible Mage Hand. <laughs> I I need to use that more often. Mm-hmm. You're getting fucked, man. Shut up. 29. By my girl. The werewolves are back. No. 29. Okay. Can they roll initiative? Yes. No. Nothing happens. Welcome back. Okay. See, uh, Ari looks at you and says, your shoelaces are untied. Oh, okay. They're, they're not. No. I'm not falling for that. As I message us. Are my shoes? This is untied. She looks down. Tie your shoes, idiot. <laughs> I told you. I tie them without looking at them. They are untied. I, I tie them without looking okay. at them. You tie them. <laughs> but not well. Because um, he did not look. As you, go, as you go down to tie them, and you go to put your hands there, mm -hmm. a mage hand just appears. Aren't, isn't yours invisible? It can be. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you get the that you untied them or yeah eventually you see it in the distance making your way to about maybe noon this dark afternoon it nearly looks like it's night the clouds above are black and as you make your way towards Castle Ravenloft you see the two towers standing above and the drawbridge Sit down. Yep. I'm gonna draw, activate my sword. Just gonna okay. put it down to my side. Everybody needs to make a percentage check when they cross the bridge. We're all going to make them at the same time. Do I need to make it for my buddies as well? Um, I would love it if you could make it for your buddies. All right. Do I need to roll all of them simultaneously, or can I just roll one, 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 one? Um, and what's, one, my, one, da one, what's my danger number? Like if I roll I will X. tell you if you t when you talk. Okay. Tallman? One. Tallman got a one? fucking serious? Yeah. Okay. Dude, both of those are D10s. The One yeah. of them is not a D100. <laughs> 19. Hmm. That that could, yeah. yeah. Roll. Sorry, got this. 51. 51. <laughs> got it. Okay. 19. 19. Yeah, so this is for Ira. Okay. I should tell you who it's for. Uh, 59. Okay, all right. 90. 90? All right. Okay. Okay. 
And what did you get for your guys? Um, for Godfrey, I got a 90. We were one for okay. as well. Uh, I'm not going to remember there. Zulika and Emil. The Lady Werewolf, Zulika, 48. Okay. And Emil? Emil, 63. Okay. Uh, 28, 49, 70. Okay. And you guys aren't controlling NPCs, are you? Uh, but I rolled for them anyway. Got it. Do I need Do, are you going to control any NPCs? I can if you need me to. Um, up I, to you. I have Casimir Donovich and uh, Ismark. Uh, do you want to control them? Sure. Okay. Um, Casimir is a, uh, a on D&D Beyond, is a mage. Okay. Give me a second, though. The internet's being a little no slow. And what, um, Seymour, you, you're fine. Um, yeah, I don't want to control these guys. That's fine. You don't have to. Do okay. you have more than I have, I have Mordenkainen, yeah. I have Esmeralda. Yeah, not alone. <laughs> Fuck that. Controlling Mordenkainen alone is, hey, I'm controlling a whole other character, basically, at that point. And an Archmage, too. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. Do you I'm going to make this simple and put one mini down where you guys are collectively. It's simple and clean from the kingdoms of the kingdom. Parts. But Ira, because Ira looks nice. Oh. Ooh, boom. Thank you. I painted that. Yeah. Courtesy of spells. Oh, um, all of us. Um, Casimir is a mage. What is Ismark? Ismark is a veteran. 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 And I am keeping track of their hit points. Also, so to do uh, what you can. Okay. But I'll, I'll before uh, people are like, Ismark's not a veteran in the books. Jacob changed some of the NPC. Is he really? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Thought he was weak ass uh, in the book. Donovich. Donovich is a priest. Well, I know that you changed some stuff, so if anything's not accurate... Jacob the only person I changed it. is uh, Godfrey, because they don't give you a stat block for when he's not a revenant, and so Van I just Richten, made him right? a little bit weaker. Huh? Van Richten, right? Uh, Van... I know, I'm using Rictavia's stat block. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I'm using everybody's normal stat block. Oh, and I changed... Um, um, uh, Nikolai. uh, Nikolai's hit points. I gave him 21 hit points because That's he right. only got 9, which is weak sauce. Hmm? Do you want their their rolls hmm? to get across the bridge, or does it not okay. matter? Twenty one or twenty okay. for okay. Nikolai. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. Oh, that's um, a lot less than I. Oh, yeah. cool. The percentage rolls I rolled for them. Do you want? Don't worry about that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Who stat blocks do you still No one. You have them? Yeah, I only have three guys. Casimir, Ismark, and. Donovich, he's the priest. Donovich, priest, got it. Okay, cool. All right. So, and they have spells too, so yeah, just make sure you keep track of them. Saw. You guys step across the drawbridge. As you're making your way across, Ira, can you make me a dexterity saving throw, please? Dex save? Yes. Plus three. Uh, oh, plus three from you. Cool. So <laughs> that's uh, plus 11. So that's uh, 18. 18? Is it not four okay. now? What? Is it not plus four now? I didn't have you worry about those percentage rolls because I rolled them already. Oh, yeah, oh. it's whatever your proficiency bonus is. As you're making your way across and you're, you're ensuring that everybody kind of gets their way because you kind of went first, um, as you're making your way over, you watch as um, Ismark is stepping forward and he steps onto a plank and his foot sinks through it. And you watch as he's uh, holding on with both of his arms and his two, three thousand foot fall below Castle Ravenloft. You run over, you grab him, and you pull him up and you bring him to the other side. And it's like, it is possible. And he's just, <sighs> thank you. Oh. Yeah, can't lose. Nope, would have been anticlimactic. Can't lose someone on the way. on the bridge. <laughs> what? Can't lose someone on the way there. Yeah, that would have been unfortunate. All right, let's continue. Mm-hmm. Let's make your way forward. Before you, you see Castle Ravenloft along with two uh, thick cold fog swirls in this courtyard. Sporadic flashes of lightning lance the weeping clouds overhead as thunder shakes the ground. Through the drizzle, you see torch flames fluttering on each side of the keep's open main doors. Warm light spills out of this entrance, flooding the courtyard. High above the entrance is a round window with shards of broken glass lodged into its iron frame. There is also a pathway to go left and right. They go around the castle. Do we still have the floor plans? Should be an iris possession. I'll pull them out. Okay, stop. Cool. Did you go over them last night? Uh, I did not actually. <laughs> um, but I remember them fairly well. Uh, Colton also needs to find that page on the 
<laughs> Just right in there. Are we headed up or down? Is, the that, what, is that what you sent to? Oh, okay. Jacob, mm -hmm. last time we were in Castle Ravenloft mm -hmm. and we were searching for Eastmark and all that, mm -hmm. uh, how much time did it take us to traverse around? Uh, it's not like you guys timed yourself, but. Well, okay. Uh, it took about an hour. Well, okay. we need to find his mother's tomb. That's where we're said to meet him, battle him. Mm -hmm. I assume his tomb is where we, her tomb is where we've been before. Yeah, with all we the other tombs. We have been there before. Um, so let me find so a just stupid be photo. Retracing our steps. Do we know her name? Ravenovia? Ra something with the raven. Because the castle's named for her. Something strange, though. I feel as though I may have seen her name in that tomb. I cannot be certain. I think we did. Uh, <clears throat> Esmeralda? Yeah. You, yes. You said you've seen it before, right? Seen what? His mother's tomb. Uh, I know of it. It's blocked off somehow. Yeah, there's some something there. I don't know how it works. Okay. Do you know where it would be? Um, the her her tomb, probably deeper into the dungeons, catacombs. Like I said, just retracing our steps. There's the oh, there's the front open yeah, door, and there's the two ways to go to the left and right. Ira, do we enter through the front? He yeah, we, we definitely go in through the front. Um, then we'll start going. He does know that we're here, probably. That is Step thing. through the front door. There's no doubt about it. The ornate outer doors of this castle hang open, flanked by fluttering torches and iron sconces. Twenty feet inside. The castle is a second set of doors. They're closed. Did, this is, you guys remember this is where you fought the gargoyles. Did we get rid of the group chat on Facebook? Because that's where the floor plans were, but I can't. Uh, okay, if you go on GD Beyond and if you go to Curse of Strahd, the very last index is called Castle Ravenloft and it's the entire map. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Do you guys continue forward? Yes. Alright. Um, who's leading? Yeah, who's leading? I'll lead. I'm Probably Ira. Yeah. I cast guidance on you. I think a right turn here. Mm -hmm. if I you make your way in here, and you got a stairway to your left, okay. doors to the front, and a hallway to your right. Going right. You always go right. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Thank you, Jacob. I think we follow through the back of the piano too. I need to load that on my phone. Yeah, I think I was actually. When you guys up step into this room, cobwebs stretch between the columns. That support the vaulted ceiling of a great dusty hall, dimly lit by sputtering torches and iron sconces. The torches cast oddly shad odd shadows across the faces of eight stone gargoyles that are no longer there. Oh. I, did we break all of them? There should be no. one or two left. Yeah, there were like two. Well, if they're not there, they're not there. Suddenly, the front door right in front of you <laughs> barrels open, and you begin your. <laughs> Coming from the stairs to your left. Uh, here? Yeah. Place your oh. minis now. Uh. Out of the door swings forward one, two, three stone gargoyles that come into the room. You see three more coming down the stairs and three more coming from the right chamber along the side. Their eyes glowing red, their bodies made purely of stone as they step forward. This is a scene you have a, a situation you've been into before. The doors behind you <laughs> swing closed. I need everybody to roll initiative. We brought an army. This is our. I know. Fault. It's just seeing it on the map, yeah. especially in a in a in a small room. Ooh, good job, Ari. Um, you keep an eye on our camera. It might shut off or be fidgety sometimes. Yeah, just make. Yeah, just keep an eye. All right. There we go. That's good. Screenshots of you there. Because I couldn't get it to. Good luck mapping it. Yeah, thanks. I just need to figure out where we are in the show. Please, Mark. Ooh. Got it. Should be pretty easy. Three. 
me? Yeah, you'd think so. Given that we've been in here before. But for the life of me, I cannot hey. fucking figure it out. So I don't get to go this way. Right, I have to roll for... Alright, good job, uh, Walker. Alright. Don't roll your initiatives, I will roll it for you. Oh, okay. oh. You don't have to roll the NPC's initiatives. Alright. Mm -hmm. well, I will initiative. alleviate that from you. Let's hope that uh, All right. he's marked as a little bit better. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that's what I'm reading it back. Ari. Okay, I know where we are. Ari got an 18. Seymour. 21. Tallman. Three. Off. Ira. 15. All right. Top of the round. There's a lot more. Casimir is first. What is he doing? Oh, Casimir. Casimir. Seymour and Dick. Okay. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. Uh huh. He casts. He's got cantrips. And they do bonus damage because he's a ninth level spellcaster, so his firebolt would do. Um, e, it would do 2d10. Are yeah. all of these uh, gargoyles? Alright, yes. so he will he will cast a uh, firebolt. Um, firebolt? I have, I have to roll for that. Got it. the fire die. He. Which one is he shooting at? Uh, the clay golem one. Alright. What do I add to this? Um, hit plus six. Plus six, uh, 18. 18 hits, roll damage. Um, awesome. 12 yeah. damage? 12 damage, nice. He, uh, Wait. oops. 14 damage. 14 damage? Yeah, sorry, I did the math wrong. Uh, you, he, um, immediately acts and <laughs> shoots a firebolt forward and <laughs> hits the clay golem. Uh, Seymour, Nikolai on deck. Nikolai's you. Yeah. All right. And let me go. Awesome. Yeah, Dexterity bucks. saving throws? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's all yes. three of them, doesn't it? DC, uh, DC is 15. Oh, 14, funny. 15, and 11. So 14, 15, 11. Uh, okay. So uh, the two on the left thing. Okay. Who's all there? Uh, Nikolai. Mr. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Victoral Castle Lander. Uh, I'm sorry. Keep... What's up? I'm gonna stop apologizing. Uh, who are the two werewolf names? I'm gonna write Zulika that. and Emil. Okay, I know Emil. <clears throat> How Zulika. much damage did you do, sir? Counting it. Uh, Zola Emily. There you go. That was my. All right. Okay. Twenty-two. Thirty-two. Uh, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. The clay one. Shatters into a bajillion pieces and is gone. A lot easier um, this time, huh? And then, uh, literally, because this all takes seconds. place the same six seconds, mm -hmm. it's like, just a flash of a thousand energy. <laughs> Everything just goes off all at once. Um, and that guy takes half, right? He takes 14? Yeah. Okay. Um, Wait, all no, right. it's more than 14. Half of 38 is at least 15. Uh, it's 15 19. Plus 19. 19? Yeah. yeah. Got it. This guy didn't die? Me no good no. man. He, he didn't take a fireball. Yeah, Casimir did yeah. Uh, 14 got it, got it, damage got it, got it. to that other guy. Um, all right, Nikolai, Ari on deck. <laughs> He's going to turn. Oh! He's going to be like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> One just explodes in lightning. <laughs> he draws his rapier mm -hmm. and takes the dodge action. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to make sure he doesn't get hit. It's been a while. <laughs> Ari, Godfrey on deck. Uh, Ari uh, casts a spell, but she doesn't know which one yet. Um, she casts... Uh, uh, let's do a uh, chill touch. Wait, maybe not chill touch. Uh, I'll do chaos bolt for level. Chaos bolt, which one? Uh, Mr. Red guy. Okay, you're gonna fire over a few people's heads there. That's fine, right? Sure. Sure. Roll attack. Mm -hmm. Yellow pencil. Spell slots on this no problem. That is great. Please keep track of and that. And you're doing health? Yeah, I have health. I can't keep track of spell slots. It would be great if you guys could keep track of that. Uh, 24. 24 hits. You just 
right over the top of one of the Were Ravens and uh, and Nikolai's head, just <laughs> chaos bolt goes flying. He's literally there as a firebolt and an electricity bolt and a chaos bolt. He's like, oh my god! And he's just trying to dodge. Nikolai. Yeah. yeah he's like. Oh. <laughs> Just imagine, he's like, he's like this old noble that's been dead for like a year, brought back to, brought back to life. He's like, I will help you. He draws the paper. He's like, it's been a while since I've been in a fight. Lightning bolt, fire bolt. He's like, <laughs> I am out of fighting. <laughs> uh, how much damage? Uh, sixteen. Thunder sixteen. Damage. Boom, explodes into a bunch of pieces. Uh, uh the red one. People who don't pay me. That's about it. Godfrey, Morden Kanan on deck. I believe I'm Morden Kanan. Uh, Godfrey. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is going to use, well, first of all, 5, 10, 15. All right. Thunderous Smite. And Smite. he does two attacks with his greatsword, if I'm not mistaken. That's a natural one. Oh. Natural one? Christ, wow. He goes forward and he die. can't get his sword out of the sheath. And then he, he yeah. gets it out and now he's ready to fight. <laughs> uh, fucking God. Um, I believe he has two attacks. Yeah. Uh, 10. 10? Prank! He doesn't have to use the smite. Oh. Okay. Just letting you know, he doesn't have to use the smite. Oh, if, cool. if he misses, okay. he doesn't have to smite. You, you can choose to smite after the attack. Yeah, so it's okay. Nice. Um, all right, nice. Morden Kanan, um, Rudolph and Richten on deck. Uh, Morden Kanan is going to... <laughs> the guys to the right, the guys to the right. To the, them? Mm-hmm. Got it. He turns, uh, and he's going to step forward, and he's going to do Cone of Cold. Ooh, I have no idea why that was so funny. <laughs> oh. It's because it usually hits the blinds. So yeah, I know. He's going to get in front of everybody, make sure he's all... Oh, he is. He just holds out his hand, and um, pure frost just goes down the entire hallway. And he wait, con saves, and they all fail. They all take... Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pull up the dice roller. Dice roller. I'm going to roll 8d8. I just imagine it hitting it, and then like you hear the you crack. The back of the head. No, 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 you hear the crack. And the crack. As like the whole door. 37 damage he does to all of those guys. Then you can just hear the security deposit. All right, and you did that to that one, so it's 38, right? Did I say 38? Yeah, you said 38. 37. Oh. Uh, they are not looking good at all. They take a bunch of cold damage. You just hear as they just begin to freeze over. All right, uh, Rudolph and Richten, Ira on deck. Oh. Yes. I have uh, one inspiration, by the way. Got it. Here you go. Um, he is going to, uh... Sorry, who's on deck? Um, you. Um, he's gonna, he has a sword cane. He's not gonna use that shit. Um, he's gonna pull, he's going to cast... Wait, oh, Van Richten has a sword cane? Yeah, he sure does. Um, <clears throat> it's Rictavio's cool. stat block. Uh, he probably also has a crossbow, and I'll just give the same bonus. Um, he doesn't have that many... He, he got protection spells. So um, he's gonna hold. He's gonna wait, and if anybody gets hurt, he's gonna cast cure wounds on them. <clears throat> uh, Ira with nice uh, Dag. The all three were ravens on deck. Holy fuck! Okay, so just so me. You. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's fine. Um, Zulika. After that, I'll draw. Um, I'll draw the dagger and the short sword. <laughs> And I'll go 5, 10, 15, 20. Get around that kind corner. of, um, that pillar right there. Yeah, just there. kind of right behind it. Mm-hmm. And I'm almost like leaning on it and using it as like a way to, to stabilize myself Got as it. I make my slashes. All right, do your attacks. Um, and I'll attack twice. Cool. You get sneak attack, you hit. Are you rolling uh, on your... T- I did. Yeah, um, a crit and a 23. Roll damage. How's that gross? You can crit that sneak attack. I'm that's actually to. like a really good dice track. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Damn, dude, you nearly kill it. Nice. 
you get up and you you slice it at once and then you stab at it again with your dagger and you get it right in the chest and there's this gem in the middle of it that is keeping it alive, this construct. And you just nick it and you do so much damage to its uh, ability to stay alive and it just kind of... It's stone structure struggling to stay there. Uh, Dag, Adrian, and Davian. So do Dag first. Um, Dag, who will be this that one. one? We'll go 5, 10, 15. Okay. And he'll pull out his hand crossbow and he'll fire at this dude. Alright. All of the NPCs have 10 temporary hit points too, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Dag gets a 12. And Dag gets a 12. Uh, 12 misses. Pink. Just bounces Wait. off of ah. Adrian. They're just trying to fire. Adrian? Yep. That's eight. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Same thing. Tink. Roll attack. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen breaks into it. Uh, and it does five damage. Hits it right in the in the gem that you would stab it in, and it explodes and dies. Woo! And he's gonna All right, position. and Davian. And Davian. Davian is the blue dwarf. Um, he's going to use his, hmm. Who said D&D combat wasn't meant for more than five people? <laughs> Idiots. He's going to use his, uh, action to go ahead and go rare raven. Okay. He turns into a small raven. Rare, rare raven, not, he's hybrid. Oh. Yeah. Ew. So yeah. he's a he looks almost like a Kenku. Yeah. I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, they have a, they have a hybrid form. Okay, he's <laughs> this strange man raven mix. Yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, Zulika. All it does is gives them more Esmeralda on deck. So I don't know why I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I think I'm Esmeralda, right? Yes, yes. you are. Okay. No, you're Jacob. Haha. <laughs> oh, no, that one exploded. Uh. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're like, I'm going to attack that she one, and then explode it? the attack with a pair of her spears? Uh, so two spear attacks? Yeah, the same Which spear, one? both hands. That one right there? Yeah. All right, roll attacks. Five. Five. It's going to be a long game, unless I die very quickly because of how long this is feeling. It's okay. Highest is a 14. 14 misses. Okay. Pink, pink. She can't seem to pierce the stone skin of these creatures. Esmeralda with Emil on deck. Esmeralda is going to uh, go for that gold one right there that's right in front of her. And she is going to do uh, her two rapier attacks and a hand axe. So three attacks. Uh, and she misses every single attack. Pink, pink, pink. She can't seem to break. She's like, these things are really, really tough. Nice job, honey. You're doing great. <laughs> um, hey, Emil, the the with Ysmark on deck, which is me. Cloven. Damn, 25, 30. Stairs are difficult terrain. Oh, they don't probably be Right there. Here. That's fine. I think he's probably He can get right next to yep. his wife. Cool. That, that's, yeah, that's perfect. You're good. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. Uh, hitting a crit. Hitting, hitting a crit? crit. Oh, holy that's... crap. Roll damage for both. Okay. So that is... The thing that the cat took. Jacob. All that damage. What? It is an action to load my gun, right? Um, I believe so. Like if I'm changing out ammo? I believe so. Okay, hey, remind me. Um, the boy didn't come with us. Well, Donovich's right? kid. Doru did not come with you. Doru. He's literally a commoner. Yeah, I figured. Uh, 21 piercing damage. Hits. Holy shit! Um, and that is to that one yes. right there. That one has not been hit. No, he hasn't. Sorry, how much damage did you get? 23. 23? Yep. Yeah. Um... For the sake of the game, if you guys want to, because I would do it, if you want to do the average damage for your NPCs, you can. Okay. Yeah, so you I have don't have to roll. Unless it's magic. I have, yeah, I have the average damage for uh, Ysmark written down, but I'm going to roll okay. for like okay. spellcasters. Um, all right. One of the gargoyles actually gets to go. Um, that one up there is going to run, str- go straight for, um, yep, forward, 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 right there up on um, Mr. Nikolai there. He took there. the dodge action. So. He sure did. He has disadvantage. He's going to go down, and the gargoyle is going to open its stone jaws and try to bite down on ah. it. <laughs> uh, and gets a nine. That misses. And then he's going to with his claws. Like, nope. He just dodges. He's got a rapier. Um, oh, dude. What'd you roll? What? 18 and 19 on disadvantage. 
which is a 22. Yeah, that hits. All right, that is five slashing damage to Nikolai, which I will do to him real fast. He has temporary hit points, so he's fine. Yes, he does. Uh, I'm keeping track of that, too. Okay, um, Ismark with Tallman on deck. Oh, shit. Are you Ismark or am I Ismark? I'm Ismark. Um, this is Ismark, correct? Yep. Um, moving between friends, difficult terrain? No. All right, roll attack. Because I hate Nefushni. Um, oh, He's got yeah. two long sword attacks, both, both a plus five. They don't spend your So, yeah, then be- <laughs> the bastards. Dropping me into lava. Uh, 21. That hits. And uh, 13. 13 misses. Uh, eight damage. Eight damage. That one got hit with a bolt. It's not looking very good. He kind of chips off more pieces of the cold stone. Um, the one right in front of Esmeralda is going to do two attacks on her. Um, one is a crit. Very good. Oh my god. Is it, this is on Esmeralda? This is on Esmeralda. Okay. Um, Our cleric prepared a, a heal. A heal, yeah. Heal she takes 11 damage, so she only takes one damage. Okay, or not. <laughs> I take that one damage. Oh, okay. We have the temporary health from. Uh, she says thanks. From what I did. I blow her a kiss. From my <laughs> Oh, that's nothing for you, hey, too. by the way, yeah. By the way, Ooh. I really genuinely appreciate you giving that bonus. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. I, I was going to give you, a, you wrote that. that was yeah. really I was going to give you an inspiration, but then, yeah. Uh, Tolman, <laughs> with Donovich on deck. Uh, boom. Nice. And then I'm going to make two melee attacks with the Sword of the Sun. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> God. Lightsaber yeah. attacks. Both above 20. Both above 20, roll yeah. damage. So. 18. Nice. You slice yes. that thing and Two slice points. more of it. You slice off some of its claws and a bit of the stone on one side, and its left arm just zzz, poof, falls off. There's just a cut through it as it falls onto the ground. Um, the one that uh, Ismark just attacked is going to attack him. Um, both of them hit, and he takes 10 damage, which gets rid of his temporary points. Um, Donovich's turn with Cloven on deck, which I think is me. Is anybody playing Donovich? No. Oh, you I am are. Donovich. Well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Donovich, sorry, I forgot. It's okay. My name. Healer boy. Um, He's got Sacred Flame as Gandra. Yeah, I'll do some healing hey, after we uh, kill the targets. Uh, so he will cast Sacred Flame on. Yeah. Where is Donovich? Donovich is this boy, no. right? No, he's Mert. Mert. Alright, um, strange. Yeah, uh, he'll attack that guy. Roll test. Uh, I don't think a uh, 12 Nope, 12 does not hit. <laughs> Secret flame just doesn't burn. Or 11, <laughs> even. <laughs> the only one right there it can't get through, but he's gonna. Mm, he's just gonna wait. <laughs> um, that one right there is going to attack um, Werewolf on his right, and then he's gonna bite at, uh, at Emil. Did you make Zulika the one on the right, Logan? Yeah, oh, he did on accident. Yeah. I forgot to tell him. Did oh, well. What, so Zulika is the null? Yes. Okay. He's going to do two attacks on her. Around, but I forgot to tell um, you. One attack, five damage. That's five negative to her temporary hit points. Okay. Um, so oh, she should be at five temporary hit points. Uh, Cloven's turn. Uh, Cloven Woo! is like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> can he not fight? I can fight. He's going to run uh, towards the one, that, uh, the one to the north. It's gonna die. One. He's got a move speed of 20 feet. No, I think he means the star one, yeah? Wait, you mean your north or our north? My north. Yeah. How, is it any extra move to move through teammates? Nope. No. Okay. It's got 20 feet. 20. And then he's going to attack with his bite and his dagger. Hell yeah. Which bite? Do it close. Uh, not the baby. <laughs> the baby. The toxic baby team. Because its little, so its little t- tongue does poison Actually, damage. Actually, no, yeah. The baby turns and it, and its eyes <laughs> open that are pure red and it has fangs and it... <laughs> And it goes I down really want a picture where the baby's like, and it hits, yeah, and then its tongue is like another baby, and then just oh, oh like no, I don't, need, I don't need that nightmare feel. Um, and it takes three damage. <coughs> Face hugger. Yeah. All right, end of round one. Hey, Casimir, they survive. Mm-hmm. Casimir. Yep. Uh, he will do another fire bolt. Uh, he doesn't need to be using any leveled spells yet. Just to let you guys know, that was over the course of six seconds. So this is like yeah. war yeah. happening. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like explosions everywhere. 19 to hit. 19 hits. For his firebolt. Which one? 
Uh, just the guy, the metal Oh, guy. got it. Uh, 14 damage again. Oof, burns off a piece of its shoulder. Seymour, Nikolai on deck. Okay, that guy's still alive. Uh, I'm gonna shoot twice at that guy. Alright. Uh, lowest was a 12. 12 doesn't hit. Does not hit. And the other one was an 18. 18 hits. Okay. 10 damage. Blow off another piece of its shoulder, it's still up. Nikolai, Ari on deck. It's like, haha, that survived. Did you say Aria? Ari. No, I said Ari. I said Ari on deck. Okay, it sounded like you said Ari on deck. Noble. Okay. What's my bonus? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Damian. Uh, 21 to hit. 21 hits. Uh, he does 5 damage. 5 damage? Yeah. He barely... Aha! <laughs> he, it's, it's, it's alive, still. <laughs> Just pink, and he pokes it. Um, and Ari, Godfrey uh, on that. Sacred Flame to the One guy right in the front. Yeah. Roll attack. Ooh. 10, I think. 10, 10 misses. Ten. Godfrey. Morning, Kanan, on deck. He's kind of making this Wait. guy like a noble version. No, of he makes a... He needs to make a deck save. Sorry, I'm dumb. Fails. He has one hit point and he dies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> which, wait, which one died? <gasps> the one, the one in front. It, it should have made a deck save for... Uh, <laughs> Godfrey. <laughs> he stabs Godfrey. it. And as he pulls Morning out Kanan the thing, it's it. It's like, haha, I yeah. killed it. I go, good job, you killed it. 10, <laughs> 20, 30. Yep, if he's going to flank, he's going to need to make an ability check. How is he flanking? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he is further up on the stairs, so the other person... Really, everyone is down. He is further up and behind it. Okay. So he has an easier access, basically, to the neck and, like, golem bodies. What kind of ability check do you want to make? Uh, um... You're going to make, I, like, a... I'd say probably strength. Um, for the okay, context, athletics. for the context of people that only watch our Christmas draw videos, uh, Jacob decided that he somewhat hates flanking, which makes sense because it's it's a variant rule. If you want context, go watch my one of my videos on my channel called uh, flanking, flanking is, is dumb. dumb. Fourteen. Fourteen. Unfortunately, the uh, dude is keeping track of everybody around him, and he kind of backs up into the okay. wall, and he's not going to get a flanking bonus. <clears throat> okay. Uh, he just kind of watches Godfrey come up and prepares a defense. So just roll attack. Uh, two attacks. Two attacks. Uh, nice. he, he'll evade the smite now. He knows that fucking Strahd is down the line. Sure. This is fight one. So that is 19, 18 and 19. 18 and 19 both hit. Well, what is the damage? Uh, with his greatsword, that is a total of 28 bludgeoning damage. He cuts that shit in half. It's not Thanks, bludgeoning, sir. it's piercing because the fist is says bludgeoning damage. I don't know. What, well, yeah. It's slashing, sorry. It's he just end. slices it and swipes in the back and it turns into a bunch of stone pieces and falls to the ground. Awesome. Um, Morden Kanan... Uh, is going to cast Firebolt on that one right there. He hits it and does a lot of fucking damage. I'm after one kind of, right? Um, yes. Okay. It is uh, Rudolph, Ren, Richter, and then Ira. Um, yeah, he does 4d10 on that, uh, which is 15 damage to that one, and it's dead. The gold one, yep, just explodes. Rudolph Van Richten is going to say, is anybody hurt? Or he's a, he's Mr. Cowboy. Is anybody hurt? No? All right. <clears throat> Ira, with Were Ravens on deck. Didn't uh, Someone's Eastmark like get a hit? few health. Eastmark, hmm? Didn't Eastmark lose like 10 health? Oh, but it was it's 10. All, yeah. Yeah. It's all 10. Five, Can you heal 10? Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh, bonus Wait, action dash. Lose, okay. You run Eastmark? across the room. Yeah. 10. And two attacks. Yeah. Very, all right. As he runs, he passes by Ari and he's like, hey. <laughs> 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 uh, 19 and 20. Both of them hit. Call Eastmark, Eastmark the lesser? Yep. Yeah, that's why I thought he was, like, terrible. But apparently he's actually not that bad. I'm writing down all of their names. 10. Plus eight, 30 damage. You destroy that one. <laughs> you stab into it a bunch of times, and it also explodes into a bunch of rocks. Um, the Were Ravens. Dag first, Adrian, and then David. Right. Uh, Dag is the one on the left. Dag is this dude. Nope. 
No. This is Dag. Oh, okay. Because I had him come down, that's and right, then he moved right. away. 15, 20, hand crossbow. Full attack. 19. Hits. And he does four damage, five damage. Okay. And then Adrian. Well, isn't it, uh, yeah, this is Adrian. Never mind, I'm stupid. 5, 10, 15, 20, and a crossbow. Full attack. Pew. 16. Uh, hits, 5, five damage. more damage. And uh, Mr. Were Raven. Let me, uh, what does he do? He will attack. I think he can make two attacks in this form. Let me confirm. Yeah, he makes two attacks in this form. In this form. Oh, no, they get two attacks normally. One of which could be with the hand crossbow. Awesome. So he's going to... He can't do to, two crossbow attacks, though. He That's cannot do two crossbow, you're right. So he's going to do two... Uh, he's going he's gonna to draw his short sword. As a raven man. As a raven man. <laughs> and he's, he's like Swain. Swain's old. Got it. That's basically what he looks like. Cool. He's going to strike with that, and he's going to poke it with his beak. <laughs> okay, two attacks. <laughs> because That's the thing that they can do. Uh, 22 to hit. Hits. And... Oh. 11 with the beak. 11 with the beak. How much damage does he do with the sword? Uh, 5. How does he want to do this? Yes! <laughs> he just stabs into it, and it falls back before he can hit it with the beak. He's like, ah, okay. It all falls apart, <laughs> and you guys defeat the gargoyles in not a matter of about 10 seconds. And at that point, um, Adrian and Dag are going to be all like, that's smart. And they're both going to go where we're even. Because all right. literally all I do is get more abilities if I go where we're even. There's no reason not to. After those 10 seconds pass, you guys kind of stand back and... <laughs> Everybody's just kind of breathing. And then uh, um, some people speak up. Is everybody all right? You okay? Um, Godfrey, look at you. You all right? We're fine. Good. The two werewolves next to me will assume their hybrid form. It's like, why didn't we do that before? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Donovich will see if anyone needs healing. He will walk around, uh, ask if anybody's hurt, and nobody's hurt, and everybody's all right. So, all right. Yes, did very Good well first in that fight. fight. All right. Let's see if I can remember. We all use our attack abilities. Mm hmm. <laughs> Me down to map four. Uh, we're gonna reconvene, so if you guys want. No, it's gonna be map eleven. Down. Yeah, we'll all just. Forty feet to map eleven. Everybody, grab your minis. Twenty-one. Okay, I'm this guy, and oh, I'm Jesus. this guy. Uh, Jacob, just so you know, uh, it says that whenever you draw ammunition from mm -hmm. a quiver, case, any kind of container, it's part of the attack. So just. It is like with a bow, though. You have to load the gun. Like a crossbow, you have to load it every turn anyways. Okay. But a gun is different because you have to load the ammunition. It, after that, it says you need a free hand to load a one-handed weapon. Which Does the gun just... Uh, is it is it like ye olde gun where you just pop it in there and you just fire? We've never discussed it. Uh, okay, we just... I it's a part of the move action. Okay. Then. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, it, I can already... If it doesn't fire, have like a chamber... I can already fire and then bonus action fire. So I figured it has... It can hold more than one round. Well, I've never talked about it, so yeah, we'll say we'll just follow that rule then. It's okay. a part of the move action. Yeah. So no, it does not take an action to load your gun. It's not part of the move action. It's just part of the attack action. Got it. And loading it. That's what I meant. All right. Um, where so, are you guys headed? So, if I'm reading this right, we want to, looking at it like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm looking at it like this, we want to go to K21. Is this hard? Yeah. Right? So we come in. I would come in and I would go to the right and it'd be, yep, that's the one. That's where we want to go. I'm taking everyone off again, just. Yeah. And then it takes me to map four. No, 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 no. we go down it. Because you can go up or down. Yeah, down. We go to down the to map 11, which is K21. I need to find K21. There it is. We're going downstairs. Okay. Hey, just to let you know, Mr. Seymour, sir, mm -hmm. unfortunately, you can't get in that 10 to brief points. Yeah, you're right. So, oh, I'm because going to put you at 20, you're at 21, right? 22. But you took the one damage from Esmeralda? Yeah, you? but I have 23. Oh, that's right. That's right. All right. Um, who lost their temporary hit points? I believe it was Esmeralda. So I forgot to add it, so. Esmeralda, uh, Mark. Yeah. Esmeralda. Someone lost Ysmark. five. Um, I believe... Um, Nikolai lost five. Yes. And I think, um... Uh, I'm pretty sure I was five. I think Zuliga lost five? She lost one, didn't she? Just one temporary hit point? Yeah. It doesn't sound right. She wouldn't. They do five damage minimum. Yeah. Somebody had damage reduction. I'm gonna go ahead and say that she lost five. Okay. 
All right. Um, that should be it. All right. Cool. I have everybody's correct health now. All right. Uh, so you're going. So oh, we're sorry. going down that that staircase. Go ahead and take the minis off and just have Ira. Yeah, so we're going I down. I don't know who's these yeah, are. These are down. Oh, all at least three of me. Him. These are all me. That's all? um, Dan. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going down. We're going down. Uh, K21 down to map 11. K21 down to map 11. Yeah, and it should be in the center bottom of map 11. You are correct. Um, and then... So you're coming here. Yes? Where? This is, is map this? 11. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, you come down to the center bottom of map 11. So we're coming down to K K sixty one, wherever that is on this map. Oh, that would be over here, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. that's K sixty one. So you come down to that's right. right. Here. It has that stupid that trap. elevator trap that is yeah. no longer that is uh, no longer there. It's no longer there. Yeah, then we break mm. it. All right. Oh yeah, we did break it, didn't we? I think it reset, didn't it? Um, we heard it click back. <laughs> Does it look right. the same as it used to? What is in the middle of the room is a big. You can see it now. Cage mm-hmm. with a chain on top of it. Okay. That is in the middle of the room. So we can see it. We can see no. it. All right. So you know, I would... what happens if you walk through it, though? All right. Um, so here's what I would like to do, if that's okay. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Um, the, the hallway is clear. And on the right, where that square is, is just a stone with a chain on top of it. This is not how it was when you first came down. Oh, because the stone went all the way down. Okay. I see what happened. It's gone. <laughs> How'd he get out? He jumped it. Um, all right. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prepare a Misty Step, and I understand like if I need to make a Dex save or something, if I trigger the trap to Misty Step out. Um, kind of can teleport. Okay, and I'm going to I'm gonna just like be ready to cast it if the trap triggers. I'm Good. gonna walk through. You walk through? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Cool. All right. And we'll keep going through into K62. Okay, when Tallman walks across, nothing happens. Um, right. And uh, you guys head out to here? Yeah. This is where you first face Strahd. I don't know if you want to just move us there or if you want us to move our mini there. Um, all right, you are here. You can, uh, do you want me to describe the room for you? Um, sure. That should be K63 there. One of this him. map, I'm looking at like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this hall stands in deadly silence. Heavy beams support a sagging 10-foot high ceiling. Fog clings to the floor, obscuring everything that lies less than three feet above it. A giant shadow lurches across the ceiling. As a dark figure shuffles purposefully down the corridor towards you. No, he doesn't. Shuffles. He does. He does? Yes. Oh. You can hear clink, 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 clink. I'll draw my sword clink, that clink. lights up the room. You see a figure standing forward, holding up a lantern. Step, um, as he steps forward, you see this very strange-looking creature. A, uh, a man with what looks like bear ears wow. and, like, fur moving up the side of his face. He looks like this. Uh, I thought it was Piddlewick. It's Old Man Mario Sack. Yeah, it's Old Man Mario Sack. It's him. Oh. Um, he steps forward, and just give me one moment... Wanted to let him run around. He run, says, but... uh, Hey, who's there? Huh? Huh? What are you doing down here? And he kind of looks over at you. Huh? What are you doing? Just walking. Just walking. Go back to your room in the tower. This is my space. Huh? Where exactly in here is your space? It, this is my floor, right? The whole floor? It, uh, can you please? Cloven, do you know this guy? Cloven looks over. Uh, uh, that's Cyrus. Does he work the straw? Can you tell him to try. He steps forward. Hey, Cyrus. Uh, what are you doing here? You drunk? <laughs> I'm here to uh, kill Strahd or something. Uh, well, that's not very good. Shall I lead you back to your rooms? Hey, if we... If we manage to kill Strahd for you, you can have this entire castle. I, to your I don't want you to kill Strahd. You could have this entire castle. I don't want the whole castle. Do you work for Strahd? Yes, I serve him faithfully. Do you want 
strawberry. What did he? Oh, he's just. Is. He's just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's very determined. He's getting it. So. He got out. You... What an asshole, you sir. <laughs> no. What a dick. <laughs> And no one, no one, no one understands what we just perfect. experienced. Go back. I'd be willing to lead you back to your rooms if you'd like. Uh, our rooms in the dungeon? No, they're up in the tower. No, my room's in the dungeon. No, it's not. I know where your room is. Our room's in the dungeon. Everybody's room is up in the tower. My room's in the dungeon. What? I left something in the dungeon. I need it. Huh. You are making cool. They're helping me find it? Quite a kerfuffle. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have to go get Strahd. He gets very angry when I have to bother him. Now, please! Cloven, you sure you can't make him leave? Hang on. You guys notice um, that around his neck is a uh, key. An iron key, a decorative wooden pendant fitted. And on top of the key, like where the little handle for the key is, it's a wooden pendant with an eyeball in it. And the eyeball occasionally looks around. <clears throat> this is risky. <clears throat> Give me one moment. Did you put him to sleep? What, what is that? Did you put him to sleep? I don't know how to put him to sleep. Can you put him to sleep? Oh, you're talking about the game. I have an idea. I have my weapon drawn. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I thought you were talking about putting the cat to sleep. No. Uh, Just a sweet little injection. All right. Uh, in that case. <laughs> Jacob, can I target this guy without targeting anyone else in the group? What are you going to target him with? Sleep. Uh, sure. Okay. <clears throat> Back to your rooms. We are wasting our time. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I don't prepare that spell anymore. You don't have it? All right, it's fine. We'll do it. <laughs> no, wait. Do we want I'm, I'm sorry. here? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, you're definitely right. Um, we should head back to our rooms, but before that... Uh, yes, this way. And he starts to walk. May I see that me? key? Excuse me. person. You're going to say, may I cast... You may I see that key? You're going to cast charm person. Yeah, but I'm going to do it as like, like... I'm asking it like like kindly, like as if I'm a friend of yours or something. I don't know. I don't really know what other words to use. He stops, and he turns, and he walks over to you, and he looks up at you, and he says... What? May I see the key? Why? I don't know, it just looks nice. I've never seen it before. Do I feel like the spell worked? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the worst that can happen? He takes it off and he hands it. Is the eyeball with it? Yeah. It's connected to it. Very interesting. Now, could you go make sure that our, our rooms were set? I'm sorry for the inconvenience. You can take the lead, definitely. Uh, you, you want me to do what? To take us back up to our rooms. You can take the lead and go to the... Oh, we'll yes, of course. You. Yes. Uh, excuse me. And he pushes past through everybody and he goes into the hallway. And I'll call everyone into the room. Okay. And he just walks up the stairs. I'm gonna... Well, first, once everyone gets in the room, I'm gonna close the door. Say, should we bar it? Actually, does this key have a... Does this door have a lock? Casimir says, I can cast Arcane Lock. Can we open it if you do? I can open it. I can make it a command word. Can you cast that? Morgan Caden can cast Arcane Lock. <laughs> <laughs> and any of us can open it with that word. Yes. Perfect. Sparkles. And I'm gonna stab the eye. You stab the eye? Yeah. Tink! It creates an apple. Metal? It's made of glass. It's like tink, 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 and it. Maybe put it in around. his bag of holding. That's what I was thinking. It's not going to take my daggers, right? It shouldn't. It's an eye. It's on you. It takes the daggers, Ira. How would it lose I'll the replace daggers? your daggers. I don't know. That'd just want to make sure it doesn't. There's a lot of them in there. Godfrey will step forward. Give me the key. Is this a key? It's a key it's with an like an eyeball on it. He's going to cast a spell magic. Oh, shit. Okay. He casts a spell magic, and he watches the eye just kind of turns black. Mm. Hands it back to you. That works. I don't, it doesn't need to be in the bag anymore, really. But if you, go ahead, it's fine. Uh, hmm. Alright. 
It's an. I don't know. Does it take a while to get things out of the bag? What if we need it fast? It takes. What an if action. we need to move quickly and stop That's discussing this one? Yeah. Um, all right. Um. I, I have it on the map. I just need to confirm. So that's the back of the room, which means that we need to go forward into the the K sixty seven right here. That's his. Yes. Okay. As, as we enter, this is the Hall of Bones. As we enter, I'm going to point. Let me confirm with you. That is K sixty seven, correct? Yes. All right. I'm going to point at that room and say, I suggest we do not enter there. Enter where? Somewhere I believe our companions would not be comfortable. Are you saying towards them or towards us? Because we're going towards us. We have to go that it's way. the next place we have to go on the map. If we're going to get to Strahd. As Marla says, we've come this far. Do not be deterred by what you find in them. Alright, we'll go down to K70. Which you is guys make your way through the Hall of Bones. Into the room of fucking destroyed warriors. Uh, yep. Uh, nobody seems perturbed. Maybe the were-ravens are like... Well, by everything. Donovich yeah, seems just... like everything's very unholy. Make your way through the room <laughs> of the destroyed soldiers. And when um, you and Davian, not Davian, you and Donovich and Godfrey step in, there's this very, very um, permanent sense of like of dread in this room as you make your way in. There's something unholy about this place. You can't put a, f- like, you can't pinpoint it, but the three of you kind of look at each other almost with a sense of knowing, like, oh, this place is weird. All right, and let's just go quickly through this room. You we'll make your way through it, and you make your way into the room where you yep. killed Strahd's butler. Yep. His body is still there. I eat it. It smells disgusting. <laughs> and you make your way down the stairs, correct? Yep. All right. I'm too anxious to down eat breakfast, but now I'm hungry. Down to the catacombs. <laughs> Make your way down the stairs into the room with the brazier that has the teleporting thingy that you guys went through that one time. Are the two gems that we used back water gem? Yeah, they're all. It's all reset. Oh, shit, that's the awesome. whole thing is reset. Right, can you put me at the? Yeah. As Morella looks over at it, a few other people kind of stare up. The where ravens are like, "What is this thing?" A recipe for trouble and a way out of here. Yeah. If anyone's having second thoughts, speak now. Jesus. Um. So, just so you guys know, like, feel free to lead it. Uh, we're going up and down this. Yeah. Next. Do you... Well, we're headed to his mother's coffin, right? Okay. One of them, the green one, says we're coffins hide. That is where we ended, was in that direction. We haven't gone anywhere else, I don't think. Coffins hide. I think everybody make wisdom saves. The people who are a bit uneasy. They, and they're, they are very confident with what's going on. They're not scared at all. Pretty much all of them have plus threes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The yellow is master's tomb. But if you want to just be safe... And... Um, Van Richten. Yes? What would happen if we destroyed his coffin before we fought him? I don't know. I, I would assume he'd still go to the same place. You know... Well, I guess you wouldn't have a resting coffin. So, uh, not entirely sure. Maybe the magic binds the coffin together. Can't destroy it. Mm, yeah, the dark, dark power is pretty. Or perhaps powerful. a resting place is more unhallowed than a simple structure of wood. That's my. That's what I would think. Don't some of them sleep underground? What? Like under, under dirt. Vampire spawn. Can he climb on walls? Probably. That's gross. I do wish you had joined us sooner. I very much appreciate your company and your wisdom. Yes. Well, good. We're going to head up. All right, you're going to make your way through you. there. Um, avoiding, I'm assuming you guys are avoiding the trap. Yeah, we're all familiar with it, so... Dun, 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 and you make your they way the catacombs. to the catacombs. Mm-hmm. Lots of different places in here to visit. As Morella kind of looks around, she says, Well, I've been here before. Yeah. Okay. Where Raven speak up, um, uh, Davian kind of says, There could be something in here. Something that could help us. If, if I remember right, 
one of these tombs is the tomb of his mother. Just where he's supposed to be, right? The room don't is not in this room. I don't think he's in here. She's in here. Perhaps we could all. There's supposed to be a knight there. here to help. Hmm? There's meant to be a knight in the castle that's to. Donovich kind of walks off, looking at the different um, I'm gonna uh, follow places. Him. Go ahead. All right, and he's just kind of looking, looking at all of them. I'm gonna read to see if any of them say anything. Are about, you familiar like, with this place? Are you talking to Donovan? Yeah. No. What do you feel? I feel something. Like he a, starts looking around. Like you a. You find uh, there's lots of different crypts um, like in an here. Uneasy night Duchess Dorfinia. There's one named Piddlewick. Yeah, I have them all written down. I love Piddlewick so much. Artista de Slop. Yep. Um, Tasha Petronova, King Choisky, uh, King Katsky, Stabble Indibach, the true friend no ruler ever had. Here lies his family in honor. Cousin, his words are power. Elsa Falona von Twitterberg, beloved actor. She had many followers. Ha 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 ha. Sir Cedric Spowintovich. Confused though he was, he built the greatest naval force ever assembled in a landlocked country. <laughs> Artemis <laughs> Builder of the Keep, Sasha Evil Skulpa, <laughs> wife, Patrina Belkanova, bride. Is it Sir Eric Vonderbucks? Is it Sir like a knight or like Sir? Sir, as in S I R. Yeah. Okay. Ivan Ifis- Ivilskovich, champion of the winter dog racing. The race may go to the swift, but vengeance is for the loser's relatives. Stefan Grigorovich, first counselor to King Barov von Zarovich. Intri Silkvalu, he spurned wealth for the knowledge he could take to heaven. Baskel Offenheis, chef deluxe, Baron Eisglaze Druf. Prefect Cyril Romulich, beloved of King Barov and Queen Ravenovia, high priest of the most holy order. <clears throat> One just says, we knew him only by his wealth. Damn. That's a baller. <laughs> Sir Klutz Chipotle. He fell on his own sword. We Klutz need him. Chipotle. It's him. The clumsy knight. Oh, fuck. Do you go over to that one? Yeah. Do you open it? I try to. In the center of this crypt, atop a marble slab, human bones lie amid the empty shell of a suit of rusty plate armor. Plunged to the armor's breastplate is a long sword. They left it in. I go over to the sword and I try to pull it out. <laughs> you pull it out, and as soon as you do, on the armor, um, apparating out of nowhere, is this blue figure who just kind of. <gasps> and he sits up, and he's this man, and he's got this big curly mustache, and he's got uh, very floppy hair on one side, and he's this pure ghost, and he. <gasps> Hello. And he's still got a sword through him. <gasps> Can you come help me? Oh, well, I wasn't... Who are you? Was... Well, I'm Ari. And he reaches down for his own sword. Shing! Oh, you don't need to do that. I just need your help. You know, you're a knight. You're supposed to help a lady. Okay. Let's go. For what reason? Oh, I'm going to kill Strahd. <gasps> Why? Oh, because he's a bad person. What happened to him? Well, he's been very, very mean to some ladies. Very, very mean to some ladies. That's not good. No. Uh, well, uh... Very opposite to everything you believe in, where, right, where, Sir Knight? Where, where am I? Oh, you're in his castle. Oh! I'd like to... You died. Him. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'll walk over to you. You guys see this happening? What? I but died! Your, your soul can't leave because he's, he's, he's keeping you trapped here. Well... Then we shall defeat him. Yes, and you can Shing. go into a glorious afterlife where you will fight many battles. I want to retire to a beach home. That too. That works. And what's your I'm name? I'm sure there's a heavy... Sir Klutz. <laughs> what do you know Strahd for? Uh, he was the ruler of the lands of Barovia. He's betrayed all of his men. Uh, oh, He's no. He's murdered all of them. Oh, that doesn't sound like him. Yes, so we need to murder him. Uh, right, then. We, we shall do this. And he starts struggling along, and everybody's like, are we really letting a ghost join Sir us? Sir Klutz, do you have a first name? Well, here you go. Yes. Sir Klutz? What's his uh, stat block? Ghost. He is a phantom warrior. Phantom Ooh. warrior. He's special for Curse of Strahd. That's cool. 
There is King Dostron the Hellborn, Sir Jarnwald the Trickster. The joke, the joke was on him. Growlmore Nimble Knobs, Wizard Ordinaire. Nimble Knobs? <laughs> ordinaire. Growlmore Nimble Knobs, Wizard Ordinaire. He's ordinary. General <laughs> Proval, Mad Dog Krizlek, Master of the Hunt, a leader of hounds and men. Tetsual Eris, last of the line. Then. You said Phantom Knight? Donovich walks forward and he steps over to one of them. Said Fan, yeah, Phantom Knight. He opens it. Hey, what did you call him? Phantom Warrior. I'll have my sword Thank equipped you. and ready next to Donovan. Okay. That's right. Give me one. There it is. Yep. Sir Klutz? Yes! Do you have Damn, uh, a first name? Yes, I'm A given name. My first name is Klutz. My last name is Tripolotsky. <laughs> this is in person. We, we do this. <laughs> Your given name is Klutz, and your family name I, I believe Sir you. Klutz Tripolotsky. <laughs> this is the best place in all of the <laughs> Sir Klutz? Yes. Will you be my best friend? <laughs> I am a ghost. You could be friends with a ghost. I guess, I guess so. Th- we, we, I, I have a, 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 a poltergeist who's my friend. His well, name is interesting. Lith. I can't leave this place. Hmm? Sir. Let's... He walks over to number six, which is the one all the way at the end over there. He goes over and he steps over and um you walk over to it. No, uh in the in the in the, in the wall. This one? Yep, and that Tom one. you yep. no. And as that, you pull up the no, blade, that, yes. <laughs> as you pull up the blade and you ignite it and you look up, you see the um, the plate above it, and you kind of go over and it's dusted over. You just see an S. Do you want to rub it? Yes. Yeah. You rub it. It says, Saint Markovia, dead for oh, all time. Fuck. Dead for what? All time. Dead for all time. He goes over and he opens it, and you smell. As 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 the uh, as the air wafts in, out of it, you smell roses. Remains atop its marble slab have disintegrated, except for a thigh bone. Donovich reaches out, he grabs it, and as soon as he does, a ghostly form appears above the dust, so faint that you can barely discern more than a part of a face. From this apparition comes the faintest of whispers. With that, it fades away. Donovich just kind of turns, and his eyes are just very wide as he steps forward. He's holding onto this thigh bone. It's a very ornate-looking thigh bone. It has like a circlet around one bit of it, and bits of um, carved ivory into it. As he just kind of looks. And he walks out. Do you know what she meant by that? I believe she's trying to help us. Is this bone a weapon? I believe so. Do you understand it? I believe so. Use it to the best of your abilities. Do not let her down. You're playing Donovich, right? Mm-hmm. In Curse of Strahd, you can look up the magic item. Uh, we're just searching DDB on St. Markovia's thigh bone. It's badass. It's so weird. It's a mace of disrupting. Oh, oh shit! Awesome. Are we all just slap me with slap Strahd with my opening up tombs eyes. now? But well, we needed Sir Clutz. Oh, did we? Yeah, he was part of the ghost card. Mm. I assume that disappears. It looks like this. I'll pull it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's just a straight yeah, up joint. Right. Looks like that. Oh, that's cool. Cool. All right. Where do you guys go? Uh, we well, can, clearly we, the body's not here. Right, but there's there are more coffins. Uh, when you look this way, right. as Morella points over, he says, that's what I was talking about. The barrier. What barrier? There's In this barrier. area, I will explain. Thanks. <laughs> that one. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 
Wide steps descend to a landing flanked by two alcoves. Within each alcove, taking up a full 30-foot height of the ceiling, is a bronze statue of a warrior holding a spear. A soft blue curtain of light flows between the two alcoves, dimly visible on the other side of the curtain or more descending stairs. So there's stairs? Yes. What was your guys' card reading for Strat's location? His tomb. And then we, when we reread it, we picked Raven, which is his mother's tomb. So your new one. Our new one is it's his Raven. mother's tomb. Okay. Well, I'll look Beyond it. the barrier. Okay. You see a figure in the room. So simple. Standing there. Just at peace. Not doing anything but looking over his mother's tomb. Put him over the left one. My left. So this one? Yep. He's just standing over it. You see him standing there. Strahd. Doesn't seem to notice you. Our tiny army. I'll look at the barrier. Look at the barrier. One. The two. Guardians. The barrier. You step through the barrier. Soon as you do. I sit yourself down, yeah? I look back at you guys and like nod. You look over as, as Strahd turns his head and looks at you. I'll be the next to step through if I can. Sure. I'll step through as well. He just says, How did you know where to find me? I told you. Look. That too. I told you this day would come, Strahd. It's well deserved, I imagine you know so. Everyone makes peace with their own deaths. I only hope you have done the same. As to you. <laughs> you your, think you can kill me? Your arrogance truly knows no bounds. It's not arrogance, it's experience. One can be mistaken for the other, I assure you. I look at you all like briefly. Do you, you think do, you do anything? anything? I think you're going to do something different. Alright, I load my gun and fire. <laughs> yeah. And you fire. <laughs> Sorry. I'd imagine that's a bit different. Full attack. I probably haven't stepped quite through yet. Because I was talking to a ghost. Uh, if this doesn't hit, I'm going to be very scared. 22. You... Seymour loads the gun and fires in the middle of the conversation, and you watch the bullet goes, and just you hear a, a smacking sound as he holds up his hand, and you watch as he, he makes a fist. And you just see in the back of his hand just a small burn, and you watch as he opens his hand, and the hole just... It was a plus three bullet, just so you know. I know. Okay. It just... As if nothing happened. We know Rude. He kind of sets back a bit and stands up more straight. And he kind of falls back a bit, but he catches himself with his levitation. His cloak begins to billow upwards. I see you've brought a sizable army with you. Impressive. And we've noticed that you've annihilated your own. Oh, it's been a long time hmm. since I've seen this. I await the bloodshed. Do your worst. And he begins to fly forward a bit. And he dives straight for you. Everybody roll initiative. Come right, on. Let's place oh. our small army. Make it count. Fucking <laughs> hell, man. I didn't roll any better, so. What'd you get? I got eight. I got five. Boop. 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 You want me to place your guys? Sure. I assume Godfrey would probably be pretty close up there. I'm trying not to place any of them past the barrier because we didn't specify that any of them walked by it. Yeah. So. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm I need slide. a retcon for a moment. He oh, does not dive for you. Damn. Instead, much like the Night King, he steps back 
and he holds up his hands. And he just looks over, and you get, begin to hear <laughs> coming from behind you. And you hear <laughs> and you just hear creatures moving and running from behind yeah, you. Yeah, I saw this coming. This is gonna be and then he dives for you. This is going to be really interesting. You could use a bit of an AOE or something. It's going to be a, a holy what? symbol of raven kind. No, Nikolai's in the back. <laughs> Nikolai, <laughs> Nikolai no. in the back. Jacob. Yes. Would it at all be Nicole possible to counter back. spell? It's not a spell. Okay. <laughs> it's an ability. Seymour. Uh, eight. Eight? Mm-hmm. It's fine. I didn't do much better, buddy. All right. <laughs> None of us did. A giant six. Godfrey got a twelve. Ira. Twelve. Oh my God. But better Tolman. than Godfrey. Dirty twenty. Hey! Well, saving grace. Natural 20, but doesn't matter. Alright, let me add the layer real fast. A natural dirty no. 20? It's initiative, so. A dirty nat. Uh, um, the modifier is zero. A dusty yeah. 20. Okay. A dusty, a dusty 20? 20. <laughs> Can I do. Wow! Can I do. Top of the round. Tallman. You're first. He's diving straight for you. The paladin goes first. Yes, he does. Woo! Can I add a smite to two separate attacks? Yes. You can do smite, smite, yes. Okay. <clears throat> so the way it works is on each hit, you can apply yeah. one smite. No, because they're, you can't do two leveled spells Holy in a turn. Fuck, a mason just smite is aren't, they're, they're not spells. Smite's oh, they just use spell slots. That's right. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, it's always. So, so what are you doing? Uh, attacking him twice with his Move brother. the vampire spawn. Uh, he's flying at me, so I imagine we meet midway. He's about to, so he he's still at his coffin. You just yet move one space back. Him and me? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Perfect. You, you both okay. just meet at one another. Uh, so that is 16? 16. You take the, the Holy Sun Sword, almost igniting it as you're attacking. It comes to life as you go to attack, and he just dodges out of the way. Okay. Uh, then I would like to use an inspiration. Add your inspiration. Plus four. That is dirty 20. Dirty 20? You go down and you swing towards him and he pulls out his uh, a, a sword on his side, this long sword, very ornate looking with his family sigil on it. And he pulls it out and you take the sun blade down and bring it on top of it and your guys' swords meet at once and yours just slides down the side of it and you hit him in the hand. So you can roll damage for that one. It's a lightsaber. Okay. Yeah. Well, it doesn't um, break those. Yeah. And then the second one, oh god, where that's going to also be an inspiration. So, 13 plus 8. That's uh, two hits. Oh, so uh, 13 plus 8 is what? 19? Uh, higher than what I got before. Oh, right, 21. So on the second attack, um, you, you swing that down, and then you kind of just kind of, you take it around, and then you like strike the it on the side. just hang with the first one, I'm going to try to go straight in for a jab. All right. Sorry, give me a second to add up this damage. Jacob, I have a quick question. Yes. Um, is he just automatically attuned to it, or to what? The thigh bone. Yes. Okay, cool. He takes thirty-three slashing and radiant damage on the first attack. This thing, it's just crazy. Okay. I imagine like those and turkey then... legs at Disney. Yeah. Except it's like a human thigh bone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It has like webs, <laughs> and then he just finds it, and he's like, mm. "Always, this was always meant to and be." And twenty-five more. As you slice into him, you you hit him on the hand, and then you hit him in the side, and you burn away at some of his clothes at the same time, and you just feel the blade is just is 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 so empowered, incredibly angry, and just full of passion. But as you do, and you you know you've met contact with him. There's no grimace of pain, nothing. He just stands, he just takes the hits, takes the hits, and there's no wounds left over you. And nothing on his hand, nothing on his side, as if you didn't even hit him. And he just... <laughs> um, it is the Lair's turn, and he's going to take his legendary action. Um, before the Lair goes, he's going to do it on yours. And he's going to take 
Um, and he's going to, um, uh, as he just kind of laughs, and um, he takes the sword forward to kind of parry over yours. It's kind of like um, the like uh, the sunlight like crackling against his sword. He, you see his fangs just kind of appear, and he goes to attack you with his bite. I'm gonna throw up my shield as he does so. All right. Bang! <laughs> 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 you literally just shield bash him, and he's just so angry. <clears throat> Um, all right, it is the lair's turn. Stupid lair. <clears throat> uh, and nothing visibly happens. Oh, good. Uh, no, actually, um, uh, you watch as Straw just kind of looks upwards, and he just kind of, uh, he, uh, uh, he just very quickly uh, holds up his hands, and, and he kind of, um, his one hand, and he, and he clutches it together. And you guys watch as the... Um, Ira, you are standing there, and you look over, and uh, everybody watches Ira's getting ready to fight, and then you see his shadow stand up. You put a shadow right behind Ira. Go ahead and put this right here, right behind Ira. Your shadow shows up to attack you. Jacob, I actually realized something. Yes. Uh, my arcane ward, Yep. which is how I've been saying I get that those temporary hit points, mm-hmm. is not actually temporary hit points. It increases my max HP. That is incredible. So, so you do have the temp- temporary temp. Yes. Holy crap. And that is it amazing. makes it so that I can actually regain hit points whenever I cast spells. Whenever I cast the spells. Casimir's turn. Casimir's turn. Yes. He's on deck. Sorry, I forgot to put them on the map. Uh, Casimir with E's mark on deck. Uh, Casimir... Hang on, hang on. Okay, sorry. Just like in Game of Thrones, you see about eight undead start charging down the hallways. Undead? Yeah, they have red glowing eyes as they just sprint down. They're just, so they're just running. like vampire babies or? Nope, they look like zombies. Oh. Oh, crap. Well, that changes my plan. I forgot. Yes, I did. I forgot to be eight. Does it look like they're coming out of the crypts? Yep. <clears throat> like they're pushing the doors off or they're just coming out? Yeah, they sound like they push the doors off from further inside and now they're just running and funneling down. Um, um, Casimir's turn. Uh, Casimir goes, uh, hmm, well, uh, let's uh, hit a guy, I guess. Um, he'll... <clears throat> he goes, oh shit, and he turns around. And he's gonna... <sighs> he's gonna... Oh, He's on deck. He's marked. He's gonna cast a uh, fireball. All right. Where's the good spot to cast? Like right, right here. That'll hit all of them. All of them. All of those guys. All, all six right. Of those, yeah. Yeah. So we have to finish. So. Uh, is it a deck save? Seven. I'll do one deck save. De- Sixteen. I don't know what his thing is. Fourteen. 14? All right, they take half damage. One Fireball lights safe. up the back of the room. Uh, that's... I have to do success. Math is... Oh, yeah, huh. Yep. Forgot. Yeah, I, I'm the rogue around here, D6 sir. Is, it's D6 is I bought for you like three years ago. Yeah, when I ago. only played nice. rogue. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's all lot of damage. Four. I'd love to see like a level 20 rogue sneak attack. 31 uh, fire damage, so 15 because... One, two, uh, one, sorry, one, two, one second. Let me uh, name all of them real fast. Okay. (laughs) Tim, Jim. Are there eight? Yes. Yeah, there's eight. Can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the fuck? And this one? Are there meant to be nine, or...? No, I just... There's eight. Yeah, but I have eight. Did I put nine on my sheet on accident? No? What? How? You doing all right there, Dion? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Excited. What the fuck? I have eight, de- but I... Okay. A rogue again. So there's one skeleton. There's a Groot one. Mm-hmm. Then there's a mummy. Mm-hmm. And then a vampire spawn. It's two mummies. Hang on, hang on. There's one mummy. Okay. Then a vampire spawn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then a second mummy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then a second skeleton. Mm-hmm. Then a goblin. Mm-hmm. Or which one am I missing here? There's like another oh, zombie. Oh, and what's the last one? Another zombie. Oh, okay. 
All right. How much damage did they take? Fifteen. And which ones take that damage? Uh, vampire spawn, mummy. Hang on, mummy. hang on, hang on. The vampire. How much? Sorry. Fifteen. Fifteen. So the vampire spawn takes fifteen. And then okay. Mummy. Which one? Both of them. Both of them. Skeleton. Goblin. Zombie. Skeleton. Goblin. Zombie. Got it. Okay. All right. Casimir blows a fireball in the back of the room. Ismark's turn with uh, Zulika on deck. Okay. How, how bad does it seem uh, like the rest of those dupes? Um, it looks like they're a little bit on fire. Who's turn? And they don't look like they have. They know what pain is. Uh, Ismark. Ismark. All right. Yeah, Ismark uh, is a dumb boy, and he uh, decides that he can take on the drive. Uh, I mean, that's what he would do, right? Is this yep, he terrain? runs forward and he says, Give me back my sister! It's not difficult terrain going downstairs, but. No, going downstairs. but going up them it is. Alright, he does two attacks at Strad. Okay. With his, what I assume, non magical. Uh, yes. Longsword. Uh, 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 probably not, he doesn't know that. Uh, 16 and 8. 16 and 8. The 8, he just kind of dodges up. He just moves to the left as he's marking and just uh, does one attack, and then he swings back up again, and Strug just kind of clang, hits it with his sword, and parries it. <clears throat> the shadow um, that is next to Ira goes, uh, and it is going to uh, use its strength drain. It gets a 7 to try to hit you and misses. Zuliko with uh, Emil on deck, but there's a bunch of enemies. Okay. <clears throat> she is going to dash over here. Okay. She knows her place. She's not going to go fight Strahd. <laughs> yeah. Um, and she, that's her move action. She's going to get ready to take the brunt of him. To fight All right. Strahd's turn. He says, good idea, Casimir. And he points in the middle of everybody and casts Fireball. We will center it Counter-spell. on... I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> Very nice. No, no, no. <laughs> what level do you cast that counterspell at? Mm. Fourth level. Fourth level? All right. Um, what the holes? There it is. Can you tell me the roll, I'm going to be sad. I need you to roll. You do still have a... Uh... Inspiration? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do I have to decide to use inspiration before I roll? No, I didn't. Um, yeah, we haven't been. I, I let you do it, but I'm, yes, you have to do it before before I tell you the result, but after you roll. So oh, you okay. can roll, yeah. and if you think, ah, oh, it's so close, then you could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need to beat... No, uh, what? Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't tell you. Yeah, don't Sorry. tell me that. <laughs> well, you know it's over a 14, so it's 10 yes. plus the spell's level. Yes. Okay. So. What do I add this? My constitution? Uh, Your spell, oh, spell attack modifier. Uh, plus three. Oh, my spell right? attack modifier. No, it's whatever, what do you cast your spells with? Intelligence. Intelligence. There's your intelligence modifier. Just it's your spell, spell ability, ability modifier. modifier. Otherwise, it's it's your pro- plus your proficiency bonus. It's just intelligence. If it was your spell attack Got modifier, it. you would never, a counter spell would just work. Most uh, of the time it's a save, so it might not be a plus three. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think I need uh, yeah. I got a 17. He says, good idea, and he points his finger forward, and a, a small bead just comes out of his finger, and you just point forward, and you hold up your hand, and he watches, it's just gone. And he's, oh, you. <clears throat> oh, you. <laughs> hey, everyone should spread out a little bit. Good idea. Everyone, <laughs> go back that way. <laughs> and he takes his sword, and he goes, um, and he does his... His, his attack, his second attack, and he's going to um, attack his mark. Uh-oh. He's going to cling, and he's Uh-oh. going to try to stab him. Coward. It's a 19. Oh, uh, that would hit. He's mark, no. Ah. Oof, owie, ouch, my bones. Oof, owie, ouch, my sister. <laughs> Give me back my <laughs> sister. Oh, okay, I'll die. <laughs> Oof, owie, ouch, I'm going to meet her now. She's still alive. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe. He oh. takes 10 slashing damage. All right. But he takes 31 necrotic damage. Ooh-wee. Where's uh, the wound uh, first? I'm taking 23 of all of that. So. 23 of all of that. So he only takes 9 damage? No, wait, sorry. He took 41. So that would be... So you take 19. How, so you take away how much? 23. 23. Yes. So it's 19 damage to his mark. 18. 18. He just watches most of... Yeah. Is that your reaction to do that? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, because if it is, then you can't do that. Probably. Uh, 
Yep, it's a reaction. Okay. So, then he's so more he takes all of it. That's really good to know, though. How much damage does he take? Not use it. We need to count. Um, it takes it forty-one is, damage. Yeah, forty-one. Yeah. I'd rather respond to you in a second. Everyone not get fireball. He needs to make Constitution saving throw. Yeah, he does. You want me to make it? Yes. All right, he can have this color. Natural nice. twenty. All right, yeah. his his pure determination keeps him alive as the blade sinks into his side and just begins to melt away at his skin as he just ah! and you say uh, that you you're you're attacking the weak first and he just says <laughs> you're all weak. But it's you've proven you fear our numbers. Um, that one right there, that white. Yep. No, uh, that one right there runs straight for where Raven boy. 15, 20. Yep. Can go 20, so yeah. It's going to uh, do where Raven two attacks with its uh, with its claws. It might not work on it. I wouldn't go for it. I was going to toss it to Davian. Uh, which one is that? Um, which one is that, Davian or um, Adrian? Uh, that one will be Dag. Dag. Okay. Um, it does two attacks. Each uh, one is an eight. The other is a eighteen. Okay. Uh, the eighteen hits. The eighteen hits. All right. He takes uh, seven slashing damage. Okay, so he's down. And to, that's dag. He's, yeah, he's down to three temporary health. Yep, I got it. Um, all right. Um, um and then Klutz that right has there. forty-five yep. health. Yep, uh, and, and right. it's gonna run for um Casimir. That's this guy. Do two attacks on yep. Casimir. Yep. Um, and it, no, it's actually going to do uh, its life drain. It gets forward, and it just kind of, and it, out of its mouth, you just see this red mist kind of come forward and try to attack Casimir. Um, and it gets a 21. 21. Oh, to Casimir, me. Who's Casimir? I'm Casimir. Sorry, I wasn't 21. Made. Five Sorry. necrotic damage, and then it's reduced from his maximum hit points. Five damage? Yep, but it's his temporary hit points, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so he doesn't. it doesn't reduce from his maximum. Yeah. Um, and he's going to do a slicing attack, and that is a 13 to hit Casimir. A 13 will do it. All right, and he takes uh, seven slashing damage. Seven? Yep, so uh, he should be at 38 hit points. Yeah, he should be. 30. The first mummy one right there is going to run straight for um, Nikolai. Nikolai. Is he going to use a dash? He has a movement speed of 40. He's what? Movement speed of 40. <laughs> He's all 40 feet. So can he make it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> they just sprint forward. <laughs> and they're just That's running. Really fucking fast. They're really fast. Um, and Zombies and not zombies. It just two claw attacks. Uh, eight and 16 on Nikolai. On Nikolai. Nikolai. Um, eight will hit. Oh, sorry. Eight doesn't hit. 16 will hit, but he'll use his reaction to parry. Uh, the noble adds 2 AC against one melee attack that would hit it. All right, so the one attack that will hit him, he just bing, he just bounced out of the way. Perfect. Um, that one right there, the, the vampire one, is going to run for Zulika. I don't know, this one? Uh, yep. That's his reaction. It has two attacks. Literally rolls two natural ones. It trips and falls on his face. Um, the second one, um, the, the mummy one right there, it's going to run straight for its mummy friend. And get behind that one. And uh, attack his mummy friend because. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that'd be cool. How's Emil, Ira on deck. Cool. Kick Strahd's ass, man. Even though he doesn't take damage. Well, it's Emil. He's first. gonna run forward. What? Emil first. Emil. Oh, Emil. that's right. That's my dude. Sorry. Okay. I, uh, and that is he is right here. Yep. Probably knows his place. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Schmack him. Uh, twenty-five. Let's get that. He's gonna try to flank. It's a very stupid zombie, so he's gonna try to just divert it. Do you want me to make a save? What do you want to roll to try to divert it? Uh, with him, probably strength. Just the added strength is gonna roll strength. overwhelm it. Dirty 20. Yep, he flanks it. He gets advantage on his attack. Nice. Uh, that is a, this is the first attack. He yes. is hybrid, so he's going to do a claw. All right. A bite and a claw. Bite so claw. The bite does. That's a nineteen to hit. Hits. The claw is a natural twenty. Natural twenty Ooh. is a crit. So. Uh, the bite does six damage. The claw does. You don't double the damage. Uh, what is the dice you roll for it? Four. A, D, a four. D four. A D, roll D four. Roll one or two. Is it D four for his bite. 
yeah. bite first, then claw. The bite is a D8. What did, what did the... 2D4. 2D4. Okay. So roll 2D4, yeah. because that one's a crit. You took the damage. Add that to one. 7. Okay. 5, uh, so 12. 12 plus 6, so 18? Yes. 18 to the uh, that first skeleton yeah. one. Yep, he just rips into this thing um, as he just tears the, the skin off. He's uh, shredding it. Ira, Godfrey on deck. All oh, right. This is stupid. You said that's awesome. It's like every... 5, 10, 15, nope. 15 20, 25, 30. <laughs> you dare oppose me, boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm behind you. And guess what? Uh, so I'm going to try to distract him. I'm gonna be like, guess what? I have a cape too. It's gonna billow. Roll deception. <laughs> and that's gonna be how I'm gonna try there to get my like, advantage. Okay, roll there deception. should be a special skill for this Ira. Means I'm just Twenty-seven. Oh, Annoy. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "You dare challenge me, boy!" Tink, tink. He stabs him. And he says, "Oh yeah, I have a cape too." And he turns and he says, "You look like an idiot." <laughs> So, um, I will say because you're diverting the attention from it, you will not gain advantage, but Tallman will. So you're giving Tallman that flank. That works. <clears throat> I guess. And so, I'll but you divert attacks. the attention to him, so he's just looking at you. And I'll make two attacks. All right, do two attacks. Oh, uh, wow. Two twenty ones. Holy fuck. Uh, he tries to kind of parry them as you you come forward and you go with the first dagger, and he tries to dodge out of the way, but you nick him in the side, and then the second dagger is... <laughs> Right into his leg. Um, well, actually, one of them, uh, when I spin and like it, it, it like billows, when mm-hmm. I draw the sword, it's the it's a shining sword. Oh, cool! So it's a thirty foot of daylight. Oh, you're using the sword of Sam. I'm using pretty much. If it's so, so that's it? what it is. I don't know. It's a bright. It's the, the Crusader, Crusader short sword. Yeah. That's, he doesn't uh, seem to flinch at it. Okay. Is not yeah, we know that the daylight Ooh, daylight doesn't hurt him. <laughs> I still don't think Regardless, it's, Saint Marco, yeah, it's not there. That's an awesome dice. Roman numbers. Thank you. That's so cool. Yeah, 8, 14, <laughs> 16, 18, 26 damage. When you stab into him, it's the same thing as Tallman. It just looks like it doesn't even hurt him. Just, pss, pss, and he just seems uh, unfazed by that. <clears throat> just keep hitting him. Uh, Godfrey, dag on deck. Godfrey. Godfrey. Yes, Godfrey. <laughs> getting their names. It's, okay. it's not that I'm not paying attention. Godfrey is definitely going to get in there. Five, fifteen. No, 25. going down doesn't cost extra. Money. Going down. Oh, we're going down. Yep. So yeah. He's up ten more feet. Uh, yeah, he's gonna try and double up that. That sweet, sweet flank. That sweet, sweet flank. How's he flanking? So who is on the other end? That's uh, Easmark. He's bleeding. Easmark. Pretty bad. Yeah, Easmark is the guy who just got slashed. So he's gonna try to saddle up, and with the distractions and everything's, everything, he's just gonna try to like hold a second. Watch what Straw does, and mm-hmm. then strike from that. So perception? Uh, sure. Roll perception. Which is not one of his strong suits. Uh, he's just gonna look for an opening. Roll yeah. perception. Plus three to wisdom. Wow. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yep. He uh, as as he's busy with Ira, just kind of like like almost wants to just show how powerful he is. He leaves open an opening just on okay. his side because his sword's in his left hand. That Godfrey just wields back his sword and goes to attack. So he's advantage. He's gonna do a fucking staggering smite. Okay. If he uh, hits, that is 15 plus, what are we looking at, 7? I'm going to assume that hits. Uh, 15 plus 7, so 22? Yep. Okay. You stab right into him. So, sorry, oh. this is going to be a bit of a Damn. roll here. Do you like to use the no, uh, so numeral d6? No, I got what I got, and it's not going to do uh, a lot at all. So You don't know that. Plus, I'll do the basic. Could max damage. Do you want me to do overall basic damage? Because I can do that. Uh, yes. Okay, 28 damage, uh, half of it bludgeoning, half okay. of it uh, radiant, and he cannot be invisible. Okay. Nice. When he stabs him, you he hear sh- Strahd, it stabs him, and he watches his, his eyes just kind of, uh, his, his pupils just kind of go inward, and he, he staggers from it a bit, and he just, <clears throat> and it, and he pulls it out, and you watch as, uh, as there's a bit of blood that spills out of it. And he, the god can be hurt. I do want to point out, just because you said that if mm-hmm. our characters are missing something, the damage Tallman has done so far is radiant. I know. Okay. Uh, he's going to go again. Okay, roll another attack. Get him. Uh, he's also going to add another brand, uh, staggering smite to that. Okay. So that is 17, 18, 19. Uh, 19. Uh, as he swings down uh, to ha- hit him again, he yeah. clang, yeah. Hit, um, holds up his sword and just blocks the attack. <clears throat> um, the dag. Like, all this epic fighting is going on, and then it's just like, oh, back to this guy. 
There's a skeleton uh, behind me. Oh. That's um, new. He's going to swing with his sword and then poke with his beak. Aww. Okay. Am I able to turn the, turn the skeleton into a were raven? Probably not. Uh, no. Uh, Is that a skeleton? If a were raven bites white. you, do you become a were raven? Yeah. It's a DC 10 con save, but it can happen. Um, oh, so the it? beak attack is a 23, and the short sword is a 17. Both hit. Can yeah. I be a changeling so angel were raven? So nine damage. Lich. Nice. Um, Davian. Someday. Dave, uh, no, I'm Davian's not Davian. Davian's me. I'm, yeah, that's I'm, yeah, I'm Donovich, not Davian. <laughs> yeah, it says in Raven and Hybrid form uh, at speed. Were you seeing that? At speed. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Hybrids can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly ass. Not there. Person. Not there. Huh? Not, there. Not, there. <laughs> not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, God 2.0. <laughs> it's the meta game. Same engine. thing. Beak and. Uh, no, Seymour would actually say that. Oh, okay. From way over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, 15 and 6. 15 Ooh. hits. Yeah. The beak will, the the will never hit. Hey, hit with it. Takes the other other hit. Dag hit with it. Oh. Um, that skeleton right there is going to run 40 feet and go attack the world. What are these things actually? Whites. I've already said. Okay. Wiggets. He is. I want to make sure. Wiggets. I want to make sure I had it right. For some reason, I thought they were revenants, and I was like freaking out. Does wiggets sound too offensive to say? Is what? Wiggets. No. Oh no. How did you make it offensive? Uh, Adrian. Goddamn wiggets. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gonna fly? Okay. Um, Why didn't you go? Can't do here? anything from there. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. What is that, that skeleton was, doing? I thought that Chilling. was one of them. Uh, well, that was 5, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> oh, you're a friend. <laughs> I've been fighting werewolves for too long. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hey! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just enough movement. Full attack. Uh, um, beak that. and... Uh, Make a lie. Short sword. Uh, this time the beak gets a 19. Okay. And the sword gets an 11. The beak hits. Yeah, four okay. damage. Four damage. <laughs> All right. Nikolai? Uh, Nikolai with, uh, ah! Morden Kanan on deck. Jesus Woo-hoo! Christ. Just all my characters. Um, where is Clumsy Knight at? Is he... I should have added him. Yeah. Ooh. He's looking at his shoes. Sorry. He literally gained him 30 seconds ago. What's his, what's his health? Uh, 45. What's his armor class? Uh, um, 16. What's his initiative modifier? Uh, zero. He doesn't have any dex. Why does he have a stealth of plus four? He's a ghost. He's clumsy. But he's transparent. That's he's true. one of those ghosts that walks around and um, goes... He was being clumsy and missed his first turn. Sorry. Uh, 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 <clears throat> uh Nikolai, Nikolai is going to turn around and say, be like, Ah, you tried to hit me? <laughs> Fifteen. He hits it. Yeah, five damage. Five Aha! damage into mummy number one. I'm helping. I don't remember what this character's attitude uh, was. Morgan Kanan's turn. Uh, he is can't stand there. <laughs> Turn back one. He tries to go through the barrier and poof, he can't go through it. I, I can't get through. Uh, deal with the undead. All right. That's interesting. He uh, casts fly even? and flies oh. over. And okay. is gonna get over in that alcove. Nope, uh, by the thief guy, by uh, one of the were ravens. Yep, right there. But he's flying about ten feet upwards, and that's the end of his turn. Um, Goblin White is going to run forty feet down. <laughs> Mordecai is like, yep. This five, is really 10, what 15, you got. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That's all the people. I um, they'd be Seymour more helpful in with Cloven on deck. All right. Uh, Storm Sphere, right here. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. So it goes. It doesn't need to be a point you can see. Uh, Center on a point you choose within range, is what it says. Nice. Okay. 20 foot radius sphere, whirling air springs into existence. Center on a point you choose within range. He flying. I don't fly, boy. I don't have any. It's always it's always so difficult. Like, uh, all right. Do you have one in your bag? No, but we can just use dice. Oh, that's fine, I guess. 
I mean, if I need to, I'll just. My my thing is like you you literally can't see that. Like yeah, you're downstairs, downstairs and there's a yeah. bunch of people in the way. No, that makes sense. Uh, Twenty-five, thirty. So now you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Storm sphere. Okay. And you make saves at the start of their turn, right? No, they'll have to make it this turn. Okay. It's when I when it first. I'll starts. do one. Are these guys save. are these guys in it? Um, it's a twenty foot. It's here, and it's twenty. Five, foot. ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, yes. twenty. Yeah. Okay. So the edges. Um, those guys would take it. Okay. So Mordenkainen and I don't know who that werewolf is. Uh, werewolf, and then. Uh, That's Emil. Yeah, Emil and Mordenkainen. So Mordenkainen gets a <laughs> rolls of five. It's a strength saving throw. Hey, he's not very strong. Uh, he gets a five. Strong. And then um, Emil has I think like a plus four. Um, and he gets a, an eleven. So okay. they both fail, and then the zombies need to roll, right? The whites. Everyone except for the zombies. They collectively. Dude, collective. Sucks. I'm not gonna sucks. roll eight of them. Do the. It's dice really roll. hard. To... All right, fine, I'll do it. No, I get, I get it. I get it. Just do collective. I get, I get your point. It's, it's a natural twenty. Oh, okay. Uh. I don't think they take any damage if they succeed. Are you so. serious? Yeah. yeah. So that's why that spell <laughs> did nothing but hurt ours. Uh, <laughs> Wait, but it continues, doesn't it? Yes, and I will zap one of them. Uh, Which one? We'll go. Where's the spell? Right here? Nope. No. Right nope. It's in a there big. You go. Yeah. Twenty foot from there. Uh, what is the initial damage? Is it like rocks picking up? Yeah, I guess it's any debris. It's essentially like a hurricane that I just placed there. Cool. And then it picks so up. Basically like what happens is they're already wild, crazy running creatures, and it literally just doesn't bother them and that they just run through it like it, it they're inhumane, like it doesn't matter. Um, have any of them been hit? Um, a few of them. Um, the skeleton one okay, uh, has I'll taken a lot of damage. Him. Just do him. Alright. Uh wanna check OBS one quick. I've been checking it periodically. It's all good. Right. Everything's been working. Ooh. That's awesome. Audio's on. That's a yeah, nap everything's working. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! So. Remember 3.5 when you couldn't crit undead? Mm. Oh spells. yeah! You remember, you remember uh, crit confirms, which we never did? Mm hmm. Do you know what crit confirm is? Don't you have to roll two? Uh, you roll it, and if you crit, you have to roll again, and then if you hit, then you crit. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. That was actually a rule in 3.5, and we just never used it. Natural 20s would be automatic hits. To crit, you would have to roll again MBDAC and beat the armor class. Yeah. And then you would you would crit. That's tedious. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why they got rid of it. Uh, 28. It's fine. 33. You yeah, turn that fucking white into this dust. Yeah. It's gone. It's called He's crit gone. confirming. Oh. Rip. Go to heaven, he goes out. <laughs> you don't go anywhere. Soul already left. It's you not think that hell is combined no, to the four dimensional planes? <laughs> it did not leave. He can go wherever he wants. It's called the lower planes. <laughs> He's going to hell. Uh, Cloven's turn. Esmeralda on deck. Yeah, Cloven. Get him. Buddy, Bite him with your baby neck. Where, where <laughs> even is he in the mess? He's right here. Yeah, he's next to me. Hit him with her even totally. He's going to go uh, uh, over to the mummy, but then he sees the whole um, giant thing happening. He's like, whoa, this doesn't look very good. Uh, Play some music. I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> no. Do you want to roll their saves? I already did roll their okay, saves. Cool. They both failed. What did they? What, how much damage did Mordenkainen and an email take? Two. Yes. Thank God. Two damage. They Animal just damage. still have their temporary hit points. Yay. Okay. Uh, Cloven doesn't know what to do, and he kind of just stands there going, "Why? No way! Why? This is real! Oh, jeez!" And he's just kind of overwhelmed. He can't really get oh, anywhere. Geez. And he's not going to do anything. Really bad. Esmeralda um, is going to run through the barrier right past you, Ari. Esmeralda? She gets right in Strahd's face. Right of course she does. Yep. And she says, and she, she gets over and she says, we meet again. And she says, you insolence. <clears throat> and he's... And I love that he doesn't like, like finish it with like a noun to describe her. <laughs> he says, you insolent. It's the best thing insolence. ever. Insolence. Not insolent. Oh, okay. Um, she does rapier attack, and she misses. 
Love then she it. does a long sword attack and she misses. Ouchie. Oh, uh, oh no. no. Second rapier attack misses and then hand axe and she gets a natural one. She runs forward and she pulls out her sword and her hand axe and she swipes once, he dodges, she swipes again, he dodges and then she takes the hand axe to go down again and he just clang, hits it with his sword. Um, Ari. Can I just say? Oh, it's my turn. This <laughs> is terrifying when you look at it in the six second parameters. Yeah, so what happened? She's beating this? us. Yes. Can, can I? You literally all swarm him, and he's like, ting, 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 ah, ting, ting, ting. It's like fucking. Yeah. Can uh, I get through the barrier? The dude, the Am I good? In Game of Thrones. Yes. That is I like don't watch one Game of Thrones. Thrones Cole. He's in like one of the few flashback scenes. I um. I know who you're I use my ring of spell storing to cast Arthur Dane. Like uh, uh, a chaos bolt at third level. At strong. At strong. Okay. No, at, at Ira. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> The long con. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> 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 she, was on to anime plot she, she was on Minecraft side hey, all along. Hey, 22. He cast counter spell. Oh. At what level? Yeah. At the level of this. What level is chaos bolt? He doesn't it's know. It's third. <laughs> what? Well, okay. well, counter spell is a third level spell. Yeah. yeah. So, so he, he, I don't have chaos He has the chaos bolt forward and he holds up his hand and he watches it <laughs> just fizzles out of the air and he just. <laughs> Can I twin spell that? Oh shit. Sure. Do it again then. <laughs> you can't but do it again, so roll attack. I, I, yeah, oh, I have again. to use uh, Source my actual cool. spell yeah. slot though. <laughs> yeah, but if they didn't hear him meow, it yeah. just seems like you randomly <laughs> <laughs> meow. But Tim. Now Tim, I have a question for you. Is that whole take damage thing a reaction? What? Did what we ever figure that out? Yes. yes. It, it I is can't. Reaction. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's why. So did you. Did, you didn't take the damage. Then. No, I didn't. Oh, that's, that's right. That's why he marks yeah. That's right. Okay, got it. Uh, twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. He blocks the first one, and the second one just pfft, hits him with what kind of damage? Uh, we'll have to find. I like that to imagine out. that she like she like fired two of them, but he didn't see the second one, so he canceled the first one, and the second one just kept going like right behind mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Fire damage. Twenty fire damage. Yes, indeed. Damn, you burn away at a bit of his cloak and a part of his back as he just Ugh! just takes the damage. Um, zombie guy down there runs forty feet and jumps into the sphere. Does that mean anything? Uh, yes, it's difficult to range for him. Okay. Uh, when you said jumps into the sphere, I thought you meant over here. Oh, into the barrier. <laughs> into the barrier. He yes. just dies. Um, Do you end his turn there? Uh, yes. Rudolph okay. and Richten. Strength saving throw. 14. When is Donovich's turn? He's last. He takes 10 damage. Oh, 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 oh. 10 mm-hmm. damage? Holy mm-hmm. crap. Nice. Poor Donovich. Um, he's Rudolph he and Richten is going to run into the room fighting Strahd, wherever his mini is. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He'll stay right there. And he's going to uh, look over and uh, cast. He'll, he'll go over to Eastmark and cast Cure Wounds on. Him. Oh, thank you. He can make it back. He can come all the way. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. Eastmark is going to gain. Yes. Ten HP. Cool. Yeah, you Looking a little better. Not nearly where he should be. But Donovich's turn. Donov. Oh, Donovich. Woo. Donovich, who is Mert, it's, is. It's me. Oh yeah, what are you doing? Sorry, go ahead. It's mine, bitch. Uh, Just Max Drago with the fight, but he's had such a tough day. I'll, I'll let him that's out now he's not wanting, so that he doesn't want to. He's been an asshole all day. Yeah, it is. Yes. No, that's well, that's, that's is. sorry, Nikolai. I confused Mert with... Uh, Nikolai. Yeah. Um. Well, he can't really get anywhere. He doesn't want to smack Straw, he'll die. Um, yeah. <laughs> all he has bump that shadow back, he can't go through that barrier. Oh. Yep. oh, there's a shadow there. That's the barrier still. Oh, yeah. Fuck that That's guy. It's still the barrier. What? It's still oh. the barrier. Thank you. This is. Oh, okay, oh. it's 10 feet? Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, can he not go through either? No. Oh, I wanted him to get the last hit. <laughs> 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 Sir Klutz defeats Strahd. Uh, he. I uh, helped Donovan fight the shadow. Okay. Is the shadow undead? Yes. Okay, cool. 
Um. <laughs> Sacred flame. <laughs> no, he's gonna hit it with the mace. Oh, with the the okay. Thigh bone. Bing. Thigh bone. Um. Maybe he's not. <laughs> Tim would use my inspiration for this. I believe you can use the thigh bone once and then it's done. Wow. No. It specifies once against a vampire and then at the or if it hits once on a vampire. It does something it, special and it only does that. No, 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 no. It does that. You can continue to use it, but when your your battle is over, it uh, Got fades it. to ash. Fades to ash. What did it? What did it get? What did he get? Hitting the thigh bone on on Mr. Shadow there. Uh, that would be a a ten. That misses. Um, that was Gone. six seconds. Top of the round, Tallman. Jesus. All right. Um, I'm holding back. My, my finishing move, Kay. which we discussed earlier. Okay. Fin- forgotten. That is good. Yeah. Finishing move? Um, I'm <laughs> it's, like, it's like WWE. Yeah. He's going to do something to like trigger it. He falls in a metal chair. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my secret. You didn't know that this could shape shift into a metal chair. I want it to happen. He has the most radiant. I don't metal think it will, okay. but I'm going to hold on to it. Okay. Um, the metal chair. Use my bonus okay. action to cast magic weapon. And then make my multi attack. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I no longer get it. What are you attacking? Uh, the Sun Sword, which is entirely radiant damage. I know. You have advantage. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. I distracted him like eight oh, years yeah. ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> eight years ago. Nice. Four seconds ago. That is a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, That's better than the natural one. Hit. Okay. The second one. Jesus so Christ, I'm going to put that over there. Um, you still have advantage. I do. For your attacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of them hits. Okay, one of them hits. I, I have rolled above a 10. Roll damage. Three out of 20 times. Roll damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, um, he rolls a three and he throws them. I'm like, dude, you still have advantage. And he rolls that other dice and he rolls a three. <laughs> <laughs> Weapons based damage, the radiant damage, and then the bonus to <gasps> Oh, and. He's smiting too? You have a bonus to undead, yeah. Mr. Sir? Yes, I do. I do. So we are looking at a number. Man. 11 plus, give me one quick second. Uh, 18 radiant damage. Toe? Yes. You go over and you uh, you do two attacks, one with the sun sword again, and you kind of weave it over and <laughs> you strike him in the shoulder. He kind of burns off the side of his cape, and he's <sighs> the second one comes in and he parries that shit again. You hit him and, he, and he's trying to parry it, but he, he's his focus his focus is, is diverted. He's looking around and he's he's looking past you, and he almost has his eyes set on Seymour. The second one he definitely manages to parry it though. Okay, it is the layer's turn. Uh oh, no. <laughs> no thanks. Oh. Stop it. No layer, please. No, thank you. Oh. Where are our layer actions? This is your layer, <laughs> We need a layer, guys. <laughs> we, need, we need to, like, make the, the They're not an tavern adventure water anymore. deep a layer. Yeah, that'd like, be awesome. Trap it up it's and stuff. It's when I'm a changeling Azamar were-raven lich. Well, we just we just make sure that leaf actually helps us, and so it seems leaf, like leaf the, is our layer yeah. action. Oh, <laughs> right. Just smashes plates over people's heads. Um, risks done. He's the one that hands uh, uh, Talman his metal chair. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that chair come from? The chair. How did you make a chair out <laughs> of steel? And... We know a guy. Yeah. Time traveler. <laughs> We ask him to go to the future and bring back a metal chair. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else, just a metal chair. Do they even make chairs out of metal? <laughs> bring, bring it's like a string school folding chair. <laughs> <laughs> so here I found this in an empty room. Oh, with it's a bunch that of right there. Yeah. yeah. I walked okay. in some weird, uh, weird room where they were like playing this game. <laughs> nothing seems to happen. Oh. Um, the layer That's doesn't seem to do thing. anything. Casimir. That's good. Keep Casimir, going. That's me. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> He's on deck. He's a mage. <clears throat> and Zulika, then it's Klutz. Yes. Klutz. Don't, uh, you, don't you love it how the, the last NPC 
uh, introduced in, in the beginning of the last game of Curse of Strahd is immediately our favorite. Mm-hmm. Cloven's still my favorite. I'm going to ca- cast... He's going to cast... Should he do that? Is that a good idea? That's a good idea. He's going to cast uh, Ice Seymour's Storm. Okay. Yeah. Right here. Ice Storm. Oh, Didn't he make saves? Uh, yes, they do. <laughs> this guy's, it's uh, a hurricane and an ice storm. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Winter came in that entire circle. It's like a <laughs> cup flying around and it gets I'm frozen right here. slowly. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh god. That's 20 foot sphere? Yeah. Just it's put it where his is and it'll hit. Um, no, I don't want it to hit them though. It, uh, you have to go you're going to have to pull it back if yeah. you don't want to hit them. Here? Yeah. Alright, there. Where I what said can I say? Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity wait, wait, saving wait. throw. They get a 14. Meal I mean, still, sorry, man. dirty 20. No, I'm sorry, 18. No, if you move it one forward, you can still hit this guy and not hit the, them. Okay, then Where I'll do that. that. Yeah. I mean, they all still got a, a, a success, so... Oh. Um, so, they take half damage, though. So, my head cannon is they act as a hive mind, so if one of them makes it, the rest of them just automatically know how to make it. There you go. <laughs> That's your head cannon. That's a way to, <laughs> to rationalize why they're all yeah. succeeding for all So, mummy pain. two, skeleton two, uh, goblin and zombie. They were yes. all twenty-seven damage. <laughs> some of it, hat? some of it bludgeoning, some of it cold. No, it still needs to be halved. Uh, so thirteen. Yeah. All right. Wait. Beautiful maneuvers. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah. On moment. They were all synchronized acrobats, and they all worked. Oh, uh, they would be so great. They in the pool. like a circus that Strahd killed. Just like, slaughtered. Okay, no, it's, it's it's not even like before <laughs> life. It's, it's once they were killed. He came down here and he's like, "All right, yeah, I'm gonna teach you all <laughs> the circus." It's just a flash mob. Yes. <laughs> just like, you look up and there are ropes you didn't notice, and they're like flying and swinging on. And Strahd's youth, he was Ease a member of the circus. Snaps and they go like, Ease Mark. Huh? Ease, Ease Mark, me. He's like, he feels so much better yeah, because he got, he got healed. Wait, uh, I'm good. Uh, Is Zucchini next? Zucchini. So he'll, yes. uh, he'll, do, uh, he'll do an attack on uh, oh, I'm tired. Strahd himself. Um, <laughs> but I, I, th- I think that when he... Uh, when he first took that damage, he dropped to a knee, and he he's trying to act like he's still Damn. still pretty hurt, and he wants yeah. to do like a slashing attack at uh, Strahd's like legs okay. to try to get advantage. Maybe he didn't see it coming because I'm in that sweet flank. Deception. Make a deception check. Cool. Yeah, come on, he's. Ooh, deception. Uh, eleven. Strahd sees through your lies. He goes, Oh no! no. Ah! <laughs> I'm so hurt. <laughs> Roll. Uh, Ow! Uh, okay. <laughs> what do you get? Maybe want to get a little card. Ten, doesn't it? He has two attacks though. Strahd just moves out of the way. Um, what a butt. Um, better, better. Uh, it still doesn't hit because it's only a nineteen. Nineteen clanging it's um, against his sword. And then he goes, "Oh, I should have stayed over there." <sighs> um, it's the shadow, and the shadow turns and it attacks. Uh, uh, Donovich. Oh no. He's gonna use his strength drain. Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh. Life drain, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Has they got, hit Donovich? They pretty much got uh, rid of fucking, uh, uh, ability score damage. I hate that. That is no. literally the worst thing in D&D. Okay. In the earlier editions, is ability score Yeah. Damage. It's my uh, bad. Zubica. It was in Starfinder. on deck. Okay. There's uh, something still in 5e that does that. There's a couple of things. Straight in front of a Zambo. There's so many things that didn't build She's in hybrid form, so she's just going to lay waste to that Zambo. Okay. First attack is a bite and claw. The which, bite. which one is she attacking? The one right in front of her. That one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the vampire's one. So okay. that is a plus four, so 17. Hits. And the claw is a 14. Hits. Can you okay. let him out? That is six plus seven damage, so thirteen. Nice, thirteen damage into that white. Mm-hmm. Klutz. Yes. <laughs> he can't go through the barrier. No. <laughs> he attacks another ghost. I will defeat <laughs> ghost. The <laughs> shadow. In he pulls the up the sword from his chest. Like by pulling it out, that's his attack. <laughs> 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 two attacks with a spectral longsword. All of his attacks are an accident, like mm-hmm. he's not fighting anybody. 16 and 8. 16 hits. 7 damage. Force. 
Seven force damage. He oh, hits it. He kind of he pulls out his sword and he kind of hoo, 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 and he hits it on accident and he drops his sword and he picks it up and swings it upwards. He's like, "Oops!" <laughs> Picture it like slippery soap. He's like, "Huh!" Yeah. And he like does a twirl and grabs it right when it's uh-huh. here. Strahd's turn. Whatever. Oh fuck. <clears throat> Strahd is going to uh, immediately sink into the floor. Any opportunity attacks? Nope, because he sinks into the floor. He reappears outside the window. Out here? Yep. The window <laughs> barrels open, and he points his finger. He says, let's try this again. And a small bead of fire <laughs> comes out of his finger. Counterspell. Coward. What is the ring of counterspell, sir? Uh, 60 feet. I cast counterspell. <laughs> you have it? Yeah, she yeah. does. <laughs> She's in range. He is not. 45. 50, 55, Literally just barely out of range. range. Wait, 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 wait. However, Ari is in range to count spells. No, I was going to do it as Casimir. He's out of range. Oh. Does Ari well, not have it? No, it's Casimir that oh, has okay. it. Oh, okay. I didn't wash my hands. Fireball centered on Esmeralda. I think it should hit everybody in there. Everybody in there make dexterity saving throws. Does Esmeralda not have counter spell? No, she doesn't have okay. spell. She has, to t- she has a dispel man. Does Rickton have it? No. What kind? Nobody, nobody in there has it. Morgan Canyon has it, but he's too far away. Dexterity? Dexterity saving throw. Oh my. <laughs> I almost threw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get so excited. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Plus three to pretty much everybody. Yeah, literally everybody. Three. Um, all right. Need to make it two. Yeah, I yeah, built. Hi, bud. What did everybody get? Ira? 29. And 29? I take zero damage. Yep. Of you sure do. You jump out of the way and take no damage from the fireball. Um, Tommy? 23. You take Damn. half damage. Uh, Ari? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Mm, do I use okay. my favorite by the gods? That succeeds. You take half damage. There you go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, uh, see, more is not there. Um, oh. Godfrey needs to make the save. Esmeralda needs to roll. Esmeralda fails. This Kill the four. What kind of save? Dex. Dex. Holy and, and crap! Yeah. Oh. I mean, I already rolled for him, but uh, that was I'm, me trying to put I my die back. I would say that this is my die, but the moment I do, it's going to Ben Richton got a 16, which fails. One second. I got a... Godfrey got a 22. Godfrey got a 22. He succeeds. It's okay. Ismark only got a 19. Hmm? Ismark only got a 19. <laughs> <laughs> I had six. Six. So you got a 19? Yeah. He's okay. 19 succeeds. Oh. Yeah. All right. So. He's worked my audience to die. Um, he might. Tallman, 15 damage. Um, He's taking 15. So huh? I am Ira, 15. None no. damage. 58. I, I have your okay. help. Um, <clears throat> Zero damage. Who else is in there? Ismark, did he succeed or fail? You said he succeeded. Okay, so he takes 15 damage. Um, Ari also takes 15. There? That's Meralda's thing. Rudolph and Richten hey. takes 30 no. damage. No. Um, Esmeralda takes 30 damage. I take um, 23 of her damage. You take 23 of her damage? Yes. So she only takes 8 damage? 7, right? How much do you say it was? 31. She's at 75 now. Um, I, did it. I did it right. Uh, and then... How much does Esmeralda take? You take 23 of the damage, right? Yes. And so let me do 23 damage to you. So more... Then, um, who else is in there? Sorry. Ari. Ari takes, uh, 15. 15, but five because she has temporary hit points. Dang, nice. Um, she has fire resistance? Temporary hit points. She has temporary hit points. I have cold, necrotic, and radiant resistance. Oh, 10, okay. I know, you're at 49, right? Yeah. And then who else is in there? Uh, Tolman took the damage. And Godfrey, 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 Godfrey. 15 for him. I know. And it's back to the end of Strahd's turn. He is floating outside the castle. Uh, the group white right there is going to attack um, Casimir again with two attacks. Um, gets a uh, 16 and an 11. Casimir will cast a uh, shield and block, and block both. Okay, he takes no damage. That mummy right there will attack Nikolai. Um, gets a six and a 
15. Uh, reaction to parry. All right, awesome. Does it again. Um, the vampire spawn one will attack Zulika. He's like fancy. He's like, haha. Natural one and 15. Uh, she beats one. Takes damage from it. Oh, so she, so seven to Zulika. Where's her stack? She's got 58 health. I know. Where's your goddamn. There it is. Hey, Nikolai is impressive. She should be at 56. I did not think uh, he would I'm still be alive. Right. So. Okay. Um. <clears throat> And then mummy, mummy number two will move over and fill the space of the one that died. This one? Yep. This one died? No. Uh, that one will move in there. Yep. Okay. And we'll attack. Who's that? Dag? Oh, yeah, that's Dag. Um, 11 and 6. Uh, both miss. Cool. Emil, Ira on deck. Same, uh, strength saving throw for that mummy. 18. Actually, wait. Yeah, all, he's in it. He's all in. of them do, right? Because yeah. isn't it? Yeah, but he succeeded. So. None damage? Nope, not sure. Okay. Um, Emil's turn. Wait, what did you say? Emil, uh, Ira on deck. That's Emil what I is the basic one. Where the fuck? Right there. Uh, he is flanking that boy. So How's he flanking? It moved forward. He's going to take advantage of the fact that it has to prioritize motor functions. Yep. He's going to fucking slash that shit while okay. it's moving. Okay. Uh, strength? Check. Sure, make a strength check. Uh, 12. Oh, 12. He does not get advantage. Okay. He's gonna do two attacks. Oh, First one's a bite. Doesn't do anything. Nope. Second one's a piece of shit. It actually hits though. Okay. That is a 20, 21-ish. Uh, seven damage. Seven damage. And he that is the claw. Kills sort of that one. Bite Woo. misses. Oh shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, like right as it comes in, mm-hmm. he's like, hum. he just bites he, it. He, like in walks its just a bit too quickly and he slashes at its neck and its head is like, awesome. He's like, oh shit. Uh, Ira, Godfrey on deck. I did not mean to do that. Mm. Mm. Yep. Didn't like that. Ooh, I'm so- I appreciate that you're wearing green, by the way. That's what Iroh wears. Yeah, that wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I know, but it's nice. Pinching is like one of my least favorite feelings. I hate seeing heavy skin. Oh. I will actually kill people. Alright, I'm gonna uh, cast Shadow Blade. Oof. Stepdad's birthday is on St. Patrick's Shadow Blade. Mm. And then you I'm chuck gonna- it at him? I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna look at him, and I'm gonna chuck the shadow blade, and the dagger every turn. (laughs) (laughs) Roll two attacks. And then they both come back. Yep. Shadow blade. A crit on the shadow blade. Oh. (laughs) Is it? uh, Is it dim light? No. No. It is light in here. There are sconces. Sconce. You chuck it. But he's not in here. Yeah, but if it was dim light or darkness, then I get advantage, which means I would get my sneak attack. Is why I'm asking. Oh, sorry. Is it dim light outside? No, you don't get advantage. Okay. <laughs> the answer is. And then the dagger, I uh, got a 24. Oh, uh, yeah, that hits. You chuck the shadow blade and woo, 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 into his face, and it disappears. And then it comes back to him. It's like, ah, and then a knife. <laughs> and then a knife just yeah. right into his chest. That's, a, that's still a lot of damage. Maybe you mm. should roll for us. Uh, 17, 22, Hey, Jacob. 25. Is difficult terrain stack? No. <laughs> uh, 30 damage. 30? Yeah. Holy some crap. Of it, some of it uh, magical piercing, some of it um, psychic. He didn't like that one um, bit. And then, like, like that stabs in, and then that stabs in there, and then they just go... Whoosh. Okay. I uh, that's the end of your turn. Uh, he's going to take a legendary action, uh, Strata is, and he's going to move, and he's going to move upwards. Oh. 30 feet. And he disappears yeah. from view. You know, I was hoping I wasn't going to do that. Pussy ass bitch. Godfrey. That's you, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, Godfrey doesn't give uh, too many fucks anymore, because Strahd is gone. Uh, He can't do any ranged things, so he is not going to step out there. Five, ten. He's going up now. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Twenty, thirty. Five, ten. Twenty. Oh. Uh... What are we at? Where, gonna, where was he? Where was he? He's going to use a dash action get next to that ghoulie boy. Okay. Um, dag. He'll attack at the one that Nikolai is attacking. Okay. Uh, sword. 15. Beak. <laughs> 21 on beak. 21 on beak, it hits. 4 damage. Wait, which one? Uh, the one attacking? that Nikolai is fighting the mummy. Mummy number... Okay, got it. How much damage? 4. 4. Oh. Poke. Deviant. Davian's gonna fire the hand crossbow. Alright. And that's 
certain that's gonna miss. Uh, that's a twelve. Twelve? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. I assume that misses. Twelve misses. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Um. That's all that Davian will do. Skeleton number two, white, is going to run straight for, uh, werewolf. This one. Yep. For werewolf. Yeah, it's werewolf. difficult. It's difficult to oh, can oh. he has forty feet of movement? 10, he can make 20, it. 30, 40. Okay. Two attacks on the werewolf. Um, 21 and 11. Uh, one hits. That's Emil, so he's going to take full damage from one attack. All right, so it's seven damage to Emil. Um, dirty 20. They are so good at this goddamn saving throw. I'm not even kidding. Adrian. Adrian Michael. Uh, <laughs> stab Adrian. Hope um, on the one next to Mordekind. Okay. Whatever that guy is. Stab, 21. Hope. Uh, eight. Um, <laughs> Which so one is he now? What? The... Uh, Adrian's that one. Oh, Which is he's attacking the group. Uh, five one. damage to group. Five damage. Um, that was, that was a Nikolai. Oh my god. Uh, all <laughs> you. He's dude, still alive. All my characters are in a row. He's like, Haha, one on one, I'm unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Just Eleven. Kidding. Now he's Eleven? stoppable. Yeah. Okay. Now he's stoppable. It goes right to it, right at the to end his, of right Nikolai's turn, like, which is at the end of the middle of the round on ten, you guys hear, <laughs> and you guys watch as I need I need pennies. Fuck. Oh boy. Fifteen more come down the hallway. Fifteen oh, more what? Fifteen more. Zombies. Whites. You know, for being a vampire, he sure doesn't have any very many vampire friends. I'm glad. I'm really glad these aren't all vampires. Vampire vampire it makes more sense. Go ahead. No. They're uh they're whites. Well No, yeah. I I sorry, I, I hate to take like suggestions like that, but it makes more sense for them to be Vampire Spawn. So, you guys watch as Vampire Spawn begin to run down the hall. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's really bad. Oh. Vampire Spawn are incredibly strong. Right. Comparatively. They have less health, but they are lost. And they regenerate. Well, I have the... Maybe the stupid... That might come ...thing in. won't be in super useless for... They begin to run down the hallway. Morden Kanan looks over and he looks down and then he turns and he sees the rest of you and he says, Where's Strong? Upstairs. He fled. He flies over and he says, uh, he's going to fly over to the barrier and he says, okay. We can handle them. Go after him. And he's going to get oh, close, closer get to the barrier. Over here? Yep. Yep. Right on the edge. Right. On, he can't go through it. So right on the edge. Yep. He's flying and he looks over and he says, It's a new spell. I haven't tried it yet. It's gonna use my ninth level slot, and he points forward, you have one of those? And, and in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the area, you guys watch as dust begins to fall into the air, much like pixie dust. You all begin to slowly kind of float, almost in the air. <clears throat> and I will say, for the sake of uh, the game, Seymour, you have it as well. Yeah. Um, you all have a flying speed of forty feet. Holy and he crap. says, "Go out the windows." Um, the <laughs> <goblin. laughs> <laughs> I take my Superman pose. We can fly, we can fly. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> the last Jedi. <laughs> no. Yeah, let's not reference that. <laughs> oh. That's I, one of the I, I they gotta do Carrie one. Fisher like that. Why they gotta do her <laughs> like that? For us to do the Superman flight, that's what it would look like. It's like one of us trying. All right, to I think like I'm breaking the initiative, at adding this many uh, this many Are people to. You it. breaking the initiative counter? Just, Just take add some. one. Nope. Just take some of them out. Wait, why, why can they go. all go separately, but okay. they roll the all same right. safe? This is a massive initiative. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Seymour, what are you doing? Just have them all go I'm flying out the window. All right. You have flying, flying speed of 40 feet. Yeah. Well, I'm five, not going to make 10, it out of the window. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. If you dash, you can. I'm going to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25. You go out and... Uh, where are you looking? Are you looking up, down, left, right? Uh, All around. I, you, you look up and you just see his billowing cape kind of go off into a further area of the tower that's above on the roofs. Okay. Um, if, question. Mm -hmm. It's not my turn. This is just my question. Mm -hmm. uh, if I cast haste, I can also fly faster. Right? You sure can. Okay. 
It's not my turn, so I can't. Okay. <laughs> um, this is a concentration. It is your. It is your turn. Oh, it, it is my turn. <laughs> then you mm-hmm. leave the field. Okay. Is it? Is it not? Can you cast haste at the beginning of your turn? I mean, if he gets what? Hit, it's your it's turn. Yeah. I didn't know it was my turn. He ha- He has. So uh, I'm now going to cast okay. haste. So you cast haste. Yeah. Nice. And then you get. Now you good. can go that's, eighty, right? That's your uh, dice. Doesn't matter. So it's the same thing. Well, no, because I can. No. I can dash a second oh, time because it gives me that second action. I'm like, so I'm gonna go three. So I'm gonna go 120. Wow! You <laughs> fly up there, and you are right next to him on a completely different map that'll pull up once everybody's up. Okay. But you you make your way up, and it's this courtyard on top of Castle Ravenlock, and it's just covered in what looks like snow. This. Or sorry, rain. This goes away. Yes. Oh, because it speeds up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, vampire going. Uh, shall I? For the sake of story, are you all going after Strahd? Yes. Okay. Then w- I will delete this initiative. I was gonna. I was gonna give the uh, holy symbol of Ravenkind to uh, Donovich, but I don't know if he can. You just can get it to. Can he just use it, or does he need to attune to it? I will say he can use it. Okay, I'm gonna give it to him. You're sure? Oh, to fight the vampires. Because huh? it'll. It'll. It okay, you hand it over to him, and you guys just, all fly just, up. Just leave him be. Um. All right. Esmeralda, Godfrey, Ismark, Van Richten, Ari, Ira, Seymour, and Tallman all go flying out after Strahd. Question for you guys. Are we going to continue? Yes. Okay. I haven't even drank my Red Bull yet. Okay. Shit, I, I, I didn't know how late it was, but oh, I have yeah. now. Yes. I finished my nameless drink. <laughs> it's already almost... Dang. Yeah. Is anyone else, like, as the older you get, the more time, pa- like, just passes so fast? Yes. Like... Totally. All right. There's a bunch of research done on that. I don't want to talk about it. It's too much. It's a whole conversation. Because we need to pull everyone off besides pull all your people. Can you guys take the pennies off? Count. Just your people. Do you want me to do it? I have nails. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be smart. Here. Yeah. I'm literally so anxious that my nails are a foot shorter than normal. Well, yeah. A foot. A foot. Yeah. Whole foot shorter. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, we're just taking pennies. <laughs> I'll cut this out probably. Oh, but I hit the mic. I'm sorry. You bastard. I do it every every time. What's your favorite? S- they can't even hear me. Can you? <laughs> What's your favorite <laughs> snack food? Bugles. Ew. Nasty ass <laughs> <laughs> instrument, you bastard. The water. boogie woogie bugle do boy the, did not uh, have snacks. Do the like cheese, the, the like mini like cheese wheels count? The, the kind of like the Is that your what? favorite snack? Oh, I love those Oh, so baby bell cheeses? Yeah, those baby are bell good. Cheeses. All right. God. They're so good. Oh, those are good. Yeah. What's, yeah. What's yours? My favorite snack? Yeah. Um, I will eat it in. It's either that or fruit snacks. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Like any spicy chip, I, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, like a taki or a hot Cheeto. Okay. Good snack. So I need. I'm gonna have everybody reroll initiative. Come on. Okay. Godfrey, Iris, Seymour, nice. Tolman. <laughs> nice shit, there, man. <laughs> um, and Fuck, why I you gotta do me like fucking same thing? Why you gotta do me like that? Oh, he stole. <laughs> he's still oh, no. He's still attacking. Do I need to put no. him back? I got it. Oh no, he's attacking Three. my hand. Three. <laughs> this is my only good die. Esmeralda, <laughs> ten. Godfrey, fourteen. Ira, twelve. Seymour. Nine. Tallman. There are two ones next to each other. Nice. Eleven. Hey, should give you advantage on the initiative. So, <laughs> top of the round. This should. You're right. Strahd von Zarevich. What a bitch. I know, right? This is our bitch. Nice, dude. I would have seen mine. Got him. Strong He's so dead. sad now. He's yeah. probably heard that before. He's like, oh. Well, yeah, no, exactly. You follow him up as you all begin to fly, and he says, what madness is this? As you get right in his face. We can fly, too. <clears throat> <clears throat> he says, you will die. I will enjoy it. You first. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. <laughs> and he looks Reverse at Uno you. Card. Yeah. And he says, <laughs> I like you. And he puts his hand up towards you. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, is this a charm? Jacob, Jacob. Why? Because it might just straight up not work. <laughs> uh, yeah, you 
can't. Uh, he's going to use You one. can't be charmed. I can't Why be not? charmed. Why not? Why not? Aura of devotion. Well, you are conscious. What's the range on the aura? To ten feet. You, he's not within ten feet of you. What did you I'm get on the there. Oh, I it. also gave him mine before. Okay. I was gonna you it. succeed. <laughs> All right. That's like, that's a, a, an ace is a crit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's well. I, I turn mine over before you. you he goes over and he, hold, he, and he grabs on your face and you just kind of are trying to resist. Almost he's just changing the way you feel. Mm-hmm. Your mind is slowly uh, uh, like um, transforming. And then you think and you hold yourself down. And you think about Ari and Ira and everybody who's died to get here, Mycroft and Chibis, and Esmeralda, and you're like, nope, nope, fuck you, you're a goddamn vampire and I'm going to kill you. And he's like holding his hand out like that, right? <laughs> yeah. I kiss him. His face? Yep, just a little peck on the lips. <laughs> Ew. Not do the way I expected. <laughs> you gotta throw him off their game. <laughs> and now, now he's off his off rhythm. His rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> and now you've thrown him off his rhythm. He, just, yeah. he seems very angry. Godfrey's turn. Yeah! Oh, Godfrey. Holy shit. Uh, can he get within melee range? I don't know, can he? What? I don't know. He How can, far up did he fly? He has a fine speed of 40 feet. Are we just okay. on what the roof? With that yeah. So he's over here. This is where he is now? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, he's not. That That's not him. Okay. He's yeah, the, he didn't get brought. He's the paladin one. He's that one right there. Yeah, he's supposed to be brought. Who's that? There he is. That's he's Mark. Oh. Sorry. He's more fucking bleeding out. 5, 10, yeah, he has 15, 15 20, 25, 30. 30 perfect. 35. Flies right up next to him. Forty. Yeah. There's no flanking, but he's just gonna be over there. You fell from my trap. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna try and you use a trap sniper. Okay. Wow. Nice. Okay. Uh, like twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. That is a staggering smite, my dude. Oh, okay. Uh, so we are looking at forty-six. That's another d-six. You plus. You kissed Strahd. <laughs> yep. That's one to tell the your grandkids, right? Esmeralda just looks over. He's like, she's like, gross. Yeah, that was. He gross. takes twenty-eight damage. Holy crap! I should have gone for the ears, huh? Yeah. He flies over and he takes a sword and he whoosh, stabs it into his pipes. back as he just. Argh! Hey, Strahd, your shoes are untied. Ira, your turn. He ignores you. <clears throat> Dang it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Uh, uh. Fuck, what's the name of the stupid... I have it. Um, the uh, Shadow Blade and the Dagger of Returning. All right. Uh, Shadow Blade. Returning Shadow. Oh, all right. That sucks. Um, that's uh, 18 and a Dirty 20. 18 and a Dirty 20? Um, oh. I'm going to... Toss this on the 18. Oh. So two Dirty 20s. Two Dirty 20s? Beats it, beats it. Yeah! <laughs> All right, so it's two d eight. Yeah, plus your sneak attack. One d four. Plus. You just chuck both of them at Strahd. And there goes my inspiration. Ooh. Damage. They go flying into him, piercing into him as as uh, they both kind of <laughs> come next, back into who's you. Who's next up? Um, Tallman. Say, so finish him off, Tallman. I'm gonna give you a bardic inspiration. Thank you. Your turn, Tallman. Can you turn down the music, Jacob? I'm not gonna kill him or do any damage, but. Okay. What are you doing? As a bonus action. Mm-hmm. Because of my path mm-hmm. as a druid, mm-hmm. I would like to wild shape. Okay. Into a hadrosaurus, or as some would describe it, a large velociraptor. Oh my god. And I'm going to be a flying velociraptor. Ooh. And I'm going to fly at straw and do a multi attack. Raw! <laughs> <laughs> a flying velociraptor goes flying at straw. That wasn't what I expected at all! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I think I heard Strahd is also confused. He's like, what? I've never seen a dinosaur before. I'm from fucking water deep. <laughs> he's turned into one before, hasn't he? No. Wait, it's what? like in no, Smash no, Brothers okay. when, like, when they when the screen uh, goes like zooms in on them and they go and they dash forward. <laughs> it's that, but it's a raptor. I yes. just <laughs> I, I just love the, the go get him, Tolman. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I expected. 
Can I get another D20? Here you go. Stop you throwing you. How many attacks do you have? Uh, just two. Welcome oh, to yeah. rolls. Did you crit? You fucking crit! Yeah. Okay. You piece of shit. Roll damage. I crit in the 23. Uh, Didn't even need my inspiration. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need that one back. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 The other ones. <laughs> yeah. The uh, one that crit. So. Uh, unfortunately, your attacks are not magical. I need you to uh, half that damage. Not yet. So seven times three, that's fourteen plus. What is that? What? That's seven 21. times three is twenty-one. Twenty-one. Half twenty. Well, yeah. So roll damage. the damage for a crit. You want me to roll? Roll. Well, yeah. You it's roll you. the crit. It's not. It's not God. Did you do two you. attacks or three attacks? Uh, I did two roll, attacks. One roll all the damage. Okay. It's you. Sorry. It's okay. I don't, I don't need that party yet. <laughs> what? You don't get a d20 damage dice? Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Damn! Oh, oh my god. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, 13 plus... I don't, I don't get my strength bonuses, so... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Am I doing this wrong? Yes. I'm gonna add a 10. Very wrong. Well. Roll two tens and a three. What, what, what's your bonus to damage? Uh, as a Velociraptor, plus two. You did 25 damage. Half okay. is 12. 12. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Uh, you you just rip into him, and he's very confused. He doesn't know what's going on. He's also um, never seen a dinosaur before. And now you've thrown him off his wrist. <laughs> 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 so confused. With the flying Velociraptor. He was like, I'm going to do what I always do, fly away. And he gets on the roof, and he turns around, everybody's flying. Yeah. You kiss him, and he turns into a Velociraptor. Yeah. He doesn't know <laughs> what no, is happening. No, 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 chicken. Starts, starts a large out. creature. Here, be, a, be a dire wolf. Okay. <laughs> um, Esmeralda's turn. She's going to fly forward, and she's going to also attack him. But she's gonna try to get on his flank. So 5, just, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 35, 40. 40. Yep. <laughs> Mental she's image. going to try I'm to uh, acrobatics. Like doggy Does not paddling? Succeed. Is what yeah. I'm... She's gonna do three attacks into stride. Um, two of them hit. Nice. And she does 15 damage. Get the final hit. Like, I've been trying for years to kill this he's, dead guy. He's got burns and slashes and swipes, but he doesn't look anywhere near dead. Um, Seymour. Uh, that doesn't surprise me, honestly. Mm-mm. He does to me, he's dead. I forgot to add ease mark. God damn it. <laughs> ease mark's too busy bleeding out. Oh, guys, I'm getting kind of woozy. Can I argue that I have advantage because I kissed him and that threw him off his... Really make, a, <laughs> make a charisma roll. Aww. Can it not be that? <laughs> what would it be? Make a uh, can, your can, it, can it not be that? <laughs> that, that phrase. Let's say deception. No one heard my joke. I'm sorry. I heard it. Do a make a California roll. Sure. Do a do a. There's no like. Do a deception check. Okay. Uh, not natural twenty. Yes, <clears throat> you can flank. You have advantage. He is confused and bewildered. I'm deceiving him because he thinks I love him. But oh, really... okay. So he's like, ah, the charm worked. And then you turn around and you attack it's him. Like, that yeah. No one's ever kissed me after I've charmed them, but, well, the women have. Yes, they have. <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, right. I just didn't realize you were gay. So. You know what I said? I said, yeah. well, the women have. Curse so of Bill Strawsby. Then it worked. He's fine. All right. Well, I mean, I hate you. I hate you, too. <laughs> uh, Only sometimes, though. 22. <clears throat> Did you call him Strawsby? You called him Bill Strawsby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Guys, it's supposed to be serious. Yeah. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, just we all me. cope 22. with humor. 22 uh, hits. Okay. I tried, I tried are you, are you blasting him? Yeah. I was like, hey, finish him off. This will be awesome. You kiss him, and then you pull out a gun and go bang bang. Yeah, three times. Okay. Uh, Can't do it right. I'm it's sorry. The, 22 is my lowest out of all of those. Yeah, roll damage for all of them. Fuck. It's the, mm, what you As say. As Velociraptor scared. attacks him and you guys are all, all <laughs> He thinks you're dead. What? <laughs> what you say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. That's my favorite SNL. It's, 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 yeah, it's the best one. Okay. Yes. Two tens? Yep. Uh, so, so that's... Sometimes you say that when things went poorly, so I couldn't tell. Like, uh, uh, yeah! 31. One. Wow! That's what yep. the 31 damage. Do, right? 
So, just to describe the scene here, you guys are watching uh, Talman kind of fly forward as Velociraptor, uh, attacking into him. Esmeralda comes out on the other side, and she also gets sli slices into him. Uh, Godfrey comes over and stabs him in the back, and you just kind of stand back, and you're like, yeah, I'll shoot my friends. Bang, bang! And you just kind of shoot him three times as three bullets pierce into him, and he's just completely overwhelmed. Um, Van Richten is going to uh, fly forward. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's going to pull... Uh, nope, he'll back up five feet. And he'll pull out a crossbow, and he'll fire. I want to view this as like he misses. the circling, circling camera right. of the Avengers. Yes. But instead of nothing in the middle, it's Strahd, and we're all just beating this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ari, it's your turn. All right. I'm going to cast a Chaos Bolt. Okay. Pew, The best spell that has ever been. Natural 20. Okay. I that's a really don't want to take this away from you, but he's going to counterspell it. <laughs> counterspell. Somebody. You're going to counterspell his counterspell? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Counterping, and both spells are gone. You're scared. Natural 20 counterspell <laughs> goes flying straight towards him. <laughs> Excellent teamwork. Excellent. Happens when the siblings work together. Yeah. We make they, ice they, storms. They can read each other. Oh, wait, I need to roll more than this. Can I, I actually love idea? the loose synergy. Yeah, so it's really cool. Here, have a nice fire one. Cool, yeah, lots of fire. Do you need another one? No, I need more d6. How many? Wait, Whoa. I do need another. Wait, so it's two. No, 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 I have that. I and then I need. sky blue one. I got. I, I have all the d6 okay, I need. Cool. I just need more d6s. Yes, well, can you say that was pretty cool. I really like. I really like this set. All right. It's originally for my. Uh, it's for my for bowl. Twenty. Uh, it's for like a Mario sixty-four five. Thirty. Yeah. Forty. Uh. Damn. That's 50, a high number. Fifty fire damage. <laughs> Almost more, more powerful than the fireball he even threw. You fire this forward as he tries to counterspell it, but Seymour allows it to happen as it goes through the air and strikes him in the stomach, burning almost a hole through him. Um, it, his, his clothes almost ignite in, in flame as he kind of stumbles back in the air and he's, and he's going to use his legendary action and use two of his legendary action points. And he's going to cast a spell. He's going to cast spell magic. Everybody except for Ismark and Ari fall to the ground, including himself. All of you, Damn. you don't take any I'm fall damage. Level spell magic. <clears throat> Holy shit. I mean, maybe not. I don't know exactly how that works. Yeah, Everybody falls the onto the roof. You're kind of falling down. Um, shingles are kind of moving down to the side as you all kind of slide down. Um, there's water everywhere as you all just kind of hit the ground. Ari, you see as all of them are kind of just suspended, they all whoop, poof, fall and hit the ground. So he's just <laughs> very angry. Yeah, whatever. I'm He's Mark's turn. He can still fly. Ooh. Goody me. Um, she's so gonna. Uh, no, I'm not. 15. Uh, he's gonna fly up so, a little so, bit. You know. And okay. then try to come down. To, to <laughs> on top of him? Okay, yeah, roll two attacks. Uh, so he's There's up no here, magical. but That's, I'll place him so. here. Okay. Um. That's a big one. Do whatever he wants. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Five uh, on not good. Yeah. And, uh, dirty 20? Dirty 20? Yeah. Uh, dirty 20 hits? Uh, eight damage. Eight damage? Yeah. Holy oh, okay. shit, he's fucking dead. Who's on deck? Strahd. It's his turn. Um, <clears throat> Strahd uh, looks down at everybody surrounding him. We're up. We're all on the ground yeah. now. And he, his hair's wet well, as he, he, he kind of falls down to the side. He's... <sighs> you mock me. <clears throat> and he is going to... Him. We're here to kill him. He, he just glares at you. His eyes are glowing red. They're very bloodshot. And he says, ah, You need to regret that. You're a velociraptor. Yes, I am. Yeah. You go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, That hurt my voice. Tallman, Ow. he's going to do a lot of attacks. Feel my thoughts. <laughs> his his uh, hands just kind of and they um they um they seem to uh, have claws that just kind of extend outwards, incredibly long fingers, and he just just does four swipe attacks into you. 
Dirty 20. Hits. 23. Hits. 28. Okay, damn. 16? D- uh, probably not gonna hit. Does it hit the Velociraptor? The Velociraptor might vanish. Oh, that's right. Okay, so, so roll I'll, I'll do damage for. Okay, yeah. so the first one. Um, okay. What's your Velociraptor health? 19. All oh, this no oh, yeah. it survives through the first three hits. Okay, um, the first attack does. Thirty-five damage. Eight of it slashing. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven of it necrotic. Okay. The second attack does. Uh, what was the first one? Thirty-five. Okay. The second one is thirty-six. Okay. Oh my god. Uh. The third one's forty. Damn. I'm down. Tallman's yeah. down. Yeah. Tallman is down. He rips part of you, turn back into Tallman, and he just die! And he sli- slices into you, and it just gets to the nick of your neck, and it kind of comes down as you watch as you just fall down to the ground, you lose most of your strength, and you just fall into the water as it kind of splashes down. And you Godfrey's turn. Oh, that's me. You're not instant. No. I'm going to take control of Godfrey. And I'm going to have him use what is not selected on his uh, on his character sheet, which is lay on hands. He's going to go to you. He's going to give you all of them, which is ten. Better than a death saving throw. <clears throat> Ira, it's your turn. Jesus Christ! I don't want you to be turning again. I only have one more of those. Um, all right. The veins on him are just bulging. His eyes are glowing red. He just ripped into Tallman with just pure anger. He doesn't look to be toying with you anymore. He looks angry. Does he look hurt? Yeah. Like really hurt? He looks hurt. <sighs> is he is he glowing purple yet? No. Uh, nice. Ira, what are you doing? Six seconds. Yep, I know, I know. I, I just I need to check and see how one thing works specifically. Um. Um. All right. I'm going to. I'm sliding down this, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of sliding. All right. Cool. So, um, I'm gonna slide. And I'm gonna kind of try to like push myself off and get to right here. Okay. And in all the chaos and like. Like, uh, him, him, like, uh, uh, this dude transforming back and falling to the ground and the mm-hmm. heel and all that chaos and his anger. I want to try to, I, I want to try to stealth behind, like, What's all up? that chaos and try to get advantage. Sure. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, 17. He turns and he sees you coming straight for him and he just, <sighs> and he just awaits for you to come attack him. Well, I guess now and never then I'll attack with both. Okay. Well, two attacks. Oh, both hit. Both are over 25. Okay, roll damage for both. <sighs> Holy shit. That's what we've said pretty much every round. <laughs> Dude, I go four sixes. Uh, 18, 24, 25, 34. Plus eight, 42 damage. You go over to him and you stab into his leg and he kind of falls down and you kind of get him with the shadow blade and another part of him and he just looks weak at this point as he kind of looks up into you. He looks surprised as you're able to do this much damage into his... And he just screams in your face. Ari. Tallman, it's your turn. I need you to hit him. (laughs) That's an inspiration. So he's you and Tallman both have He's party. down on one knee. I, Ira's got him twice in the side, um, and he just looks weak and Both vulnerable. of you have bardic inspirations right now. D6 is... I wake up, just wipe my mouth. Okay. Spit like a fountain of blood out mm-hmm. onto him. <laughs> okay. Uh, I raise his brother's sword. Click it one more time. Stab it into him. Roll attack. How much is bardic inspiration? Uh, D6. Can I get my bardic inspiration? No, you can't do that. I wish you could. Fucking Christ. Fuck. Anyone have any inspirations? Tell no, us his way. I used him. Uh, 
First one misses. First one, you just missed the second attack. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Meets a pizza. How do you want to kill Scrum? Yes! Just a fully, okay. I just want to let you know, he had 45 health. I did 40 damage. Oh. Dang. He and he's at two. It's a lot of damage. What do you do? So, I imagine, is it raining? Yeah. Just picturing like this this thunderstorm that kind of crackles throughout the sky. Mm-hmm. And the rain falls down on all of our faces. Blood is dripping from everyone pretty mm-hmm. much. I raise this sword, strike first, and he parries his brother's yep. own blade away from it. <laughs> Out of the way. I raise it one more time, and like, as if it were, what is it, the Morning Lord? Mm-hmm. His will, lightning strikes down on the blade itself as I throw it. goes straight into him as he just, he's on two knees on the ground, and he just... <laughs> This radiant light sort of crackles throughout every vein in his body. Oh, and as it does, you watch his entire body just kind of goes down. His, his hands begin to light up. His face and his eyes, you watch his, his, his just complete face in pure shock <laughs> explodes. And you watch as he turns into mist and disappears into the floor. This isn't over. Let's we get go. To his coffin. Find his coffin. Right, Ezreal? Let's... Yeah. yeah, we gotta get it quick. We gotta go. Do you know where it is? It's, it has to be down in the catacombs. We could probably slide back down. Ari, you can still fly. Yes, Mark. Take us down. <clears throat> right, I, I'm going to go over to... Uh, I can get my own way down. All right, I'm going to go pick up Esmeralda. <laughs> okay, turn, you go over and you pick up Esmeralda. I turn into a peregrine falcon. Very nice. You gotta fly. You you fly down. Um, Ari and Ismark very quickly begin to kind of uh, take people down in through the window that's strutted open as they bring you back um, into the concluded hand. battle. To speed it up a little bit, if it's okay, can I slid down and then use the misty step to yes. into the room? <laughs> you all try to go like as fast as possible. You 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 misty step down. You fly in as an eagle. Uh, you take <laughs> you take Esmeralda down. Um, I just lift my hands up. <laughs> Uh, Ismark takes you down, and uh, Rudolf Van Richten has a grapple that he uses to kind of slide down, and you all kind of roll into the conclusion of the bloody battle below everything. You see bodies everywhere. Um, Morden Kanan sees you all come in, and he um, he just uh, looks at all of you. You can see Donovich standing there, and he goes over, and he picks somebody up that he seems to kind of um, heal the wounds of, Um, and Morden Kanan just looks up. You're alive. We need to find his coffin. He's dead, let's go. Okay, uh... I don't know where it is. It has to be down here somewhere. I'm gonna go to oh. the left it's and look that way. Everyone that can move spread out. Uh, where do you go? Forward. Everybody spreads out? I had this uh, way. I, that's what I'm saying, but uh, before I say that, how many people are alive? You're gonna, you look over and you do a quick count, and you look over and you see, um, you, you do a... Uh, well, maybe a better question would be, who's dead? Nobody. Nobody oh. dies as... As uh, Dave, um, as um, not Davian, uh, Donovich goes over. One of the were- uh, one of the Were Raven boys fell onto the ground, and he goes over and he casts this spell that looks to revive him back to life. And he just helps him up, and he says, "No one dies today." Yeah, distraught. Hook and you, force open, uh, not his mother's grave, but the one next to it. You hook and force them open, and they just seem to have what look like bodies on the okay. inside. Nothing. I go that Would way. Would he have kept his coffin down? You here? go that way, and you see, um... Do you have the map? Um, that's what I'm looking it at. It right looks now. like a room yeah. with a coffin. That's that what... looks like it has to be it. <laughs> um, well, it might As not we're be. Running, I'm going to cast Q, uh, on Someone floor. should go the other way. I guess I'll go the other way. You go the other way? <laughs> well, just ta- just Seymour. You see another coffin. Seymour's going to that one. I'm taking Esmeralda with me, just in okay. case. So, um, Talman, do you want to go with Seymour too? Where Vin? would you have me? Uh, I think if Talman goes with you, and then Ari, Van Richten, and I can stay at the other one. That's fine. Okay. And then everyone, uh, oh, I'm going to everyone else <laughs> to be in the center, ready for anything. Okay. You guys make it to your coffin, uh, to the one on the left. You go over and you open it. Pry it open. I'll grab my you guys over and, and all. <laughs> and it pries open. And as soon as it pries open, you look down and you see the corpse of what looks like a boy. Black hair, very, very old. It's okay. It's okay. You guys go over and you <laughs> pry open yours, and as soon as it kind of <laughs> flies off, and the and the wooden coffin just kind of in like slow mo, just <laughs> it's the ground, laying in this cushioned coffin, hands over his chest, almost as if he's asleep, is Strahd. 
hand you a wooden stick. I I would say that Ari and Ira would go back. Yeah, we're, we're like sprinting <laughs> over. Like, ah, it's the other one! Gotta see Vampire Die. I never was one for articulation. And mayhaps I can take pride in the fact that words fail me. Strahd, your reign is over. May you rest well. I'll put the stake in. I'll activate the sword and drive them both down. Peace be with him. Even undeserving as he is. So undeserving. Strahd can't hide his surprise as death takes him into the black abyss. You hit it, and it sinks down inwards, and he watches his eyes open, and he looks at you, and they just go black. And he just turns into dust. The pillar stone of Ravenloft trembles with fury, shaking dust from the ceiling of the vampire's tomb. The shutters abate as Strahd's burning hatred melts away, replaced at last with relief. Only now dust and the noble garbs remain. Strahd von Zarevich, the Dark Lord of Barovia, is dead and gone. I uh, take my pistol and I like, kind of like point it up and then fire. I, uh, it, it, it would be useless in about an hour, anyways. So just thought I'd get rid of it. Thick clouds fill the sky. <laughs> Through the chilling morning mists, the land of Barovia is visible far below, and you guys can kind of see this throughout the windows. It begins to light up outside. There's peacefulness here. Rest has come to the valley for the first time anyone can remember. A light flashes behind you. Wheeling around, you see a stately man, a being of flesh and blood, in shining armor and a flapping cape. His countenance shows great strength of will, yet the forcefulness of his presence is tempered by his calm, sad eyes. His features are those of Strahd, yet subtly different. His voice is calm and peaceful. My name, is, my name is Sergei Bonzerovich. He then turns, and you watch from out behind a pillar. You see Irina. Just a step before you. Tatiana, the time is at hand to rest. Come, my love and wife. He stretches forth his hand. Irina Kolyana's questioning eyes suddenly open with recognition and knowledge. Forgotten memories rush back to her. Sergei, she cries, springing to him with the grace of a doe. They embrace. I'd like to interrupt. Yep. What are you doing? Um, I'll step forward. Okay. Be at the time of rest. Deactivate it. I still imagine this is yours. He holds on to it. You used it well. And me. Thank you. I hope for rest for you. And he puts it into a hilt. Shimmering light surrounds Irina and Sergei. Hand in hand, they walk east towards the edge of the overlook. Their feet do not touch the ground as they tread a path beyond this mortal world. Their invisible road takes them beyond the eastern precipice, their glow illuminating and thinning the clouds above Barovia. Clouds suddenly break open letting shafts of glorious sunlight flood through. In the valley below, the strange fog dissolves. Barovia is free once more. Sunlight glimmers into the room for the first time in weeks. You see the sun. Talman, probably a lot longer for you. Probably have to, like, a... 
Oh, that's right. I told you we could do it. just hugs you, Seymour. Okay, I hug her. We won. We won. What now? Gotta go back to Waterdeep. We... I didn't think we'd do it, but wow. I think, you, I think we actually did it. Told you we could do it. <laughs> Everybody else kind of stumbles forward, and they and they look over. They're just a bit confused as to what's going on. Morden kind of comes forward, and he just kind of good work. You proved me wrong. Uh, not many people can do that. <laughs> I'm assuming uh, we can leave this place now. Yes. Um, That's how this should work. You could be the first to test it, as you are with you know. Your spells and most things. Anyone Let's get out of this dreadful castle. Anyone who wants to leave Barovia should be able to. Anyone who wants to come in and help rebuild the city, the country, I guess. The kingdom. The kingdom. That's a better word. Sh- shall we leave this place? Yes. That's. that's uh, I have one thing to check real quick. Just a little fascination of mine. Okay, I run over to. It's a tomb. One of the tombs. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Artonk Wilovich. Mm-hmm. A friend of wine. Can I get a bottle of vinegar? Sorry, say it again. I, I think I wrote it wrong, but it's uh, Artonk. Artonk? Artank. We left the bitch. All right. Um, Friend of wine. Uh, I've got Ivan, Entry, Stefan, Baskel, um, Surreal Romulich, Baron Iceglaze, Klutz, uh, Yarnwald, Dostrin, Nimble Knobs, God damn it. Isophiles, Tetzal. No, no. God damn it, I can't find it. Oh, sorry. Artista, Lady Isolda, Prince Ariel. Uh, oh, okay. Artank Swilovich. Swilovich. Yeah. My bad. You are greeted by the faint smell of wine. A skeleton draped in rags lies atop a marble slab in the center of the crypt. Heaped around it, covering the entire floor, are thousands of empty wine bottles. <laughs> thousands. One just kind of rolls out. Clank, 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 clank. Whoa. That's disappointing. Yeah, I was hoping for the last seed. Yeah. Maybe rummage around in there? No, well. Another time, right? We can come back. Yeah, I don't want to, like, ruin the mood. Do you guys leave Castle Ravenwood? Yeah. Yeah. You guys make your way outside, and you are greeted by the sun instead of clouds. It is no longer raining, and Barovia, as you look over and you make your way outside the portcullis, is a beautiful, beautiful valley. No longer covered in... Fog and clouds and darkness. It is just green, and you see, you can see Velaki in the distance. You can see the mountains and everything. What's beyond that? Uh, more mountains. You see more and more mountains. Just it's it's a very large mountain range that continues up on both sides. It's a valley, so it kind of surrounds it. You guys see the kind of forest that drifts off um, into the distance. <clears throat> And your whole crew just kind of makes their way out. I imagine we can leave this place now. Yeah. I would assume as much. It says some NPC. <laughs> Play more, okay? Yeah. So, where do you hail? Waterdeep? Yes. Yeah. I'd love to return there. You can come with us. I would love to. Esmeralda. Um, uh, Donovich says... Can I join? Yes. Of course. You don't want to stay here? Me and my son, we would love to come with you. Yes. Um, uh, <clears throat> the were ravens say, uh, they, uh, Davian says, so steps forward, he says, good work. We're going to go make more wine. We'll, we'll get in touch with you. Okay. Yes. We There's own a our tavern. tavern. in Waterdeep that well, we also got some business. I would love that business. They both turn into, they all three turn into ravens and laugh. Um, the werewolves nod. 
Thank you. Back to your cave? Yes. Free from Strahd. We can do many things now. We may move. Only good, right? We won't take any more children. Thank you. They both kind of walk off. Esmeralda looks at the rest of you. We can, we can, we can leave? Really? Yeah. Do you want to come with us? See where we're... Okay. Well, I wasn't born there. Sh- sure. I'll go. None of us were born there. It's where we live. <laughs> Look, I don't want to kill the mood, guys. I'm not entirely convinced he's dead. Look, we, we may have brought happiness to the people in Barovia, and I'd love to visit your home, but... Then come visit. I'll just right. come back here. He's gone for a while, at least. You can relax. I guess so. And we've proven he's beatable. She she turns to um, Rudolph, and he says, Don't worry. I got nowhere else to be. I'll stay here and make sure the bastard doesn't come back. While you're gone, at least. Might need your help. <laughs> she nods. So, oh, where is it you live again? Waterdeep. Waterdeep, all right. Um, kind of out, like, on the ocean. It's on the sea, right? There's the sea. Yes. Like, yeah. Have you? You ever seen the ocean? <laughs> no. Oh, you'll hate it. Or you'll love it. I just know they're kind of like lakes. Very big lakes. All right. It's, you'll like it. It's very... How long have we been gone? I don't know. A month? You, uh, you're from Waterdeep, too? No. You're from Cholt, right? land called Cholt, right? Something like that? The land I once called home. And simply that. But my people are dead now. Well, you're not. Yes. We can see what brings it, see what comes next to the new start of your people. I believe my next step in a different direction than yours. How so? I may not return to Cholt. I miss the air and the rain, the creatures that dwell there, but I don't think I have a home anymore. You have us? Mm-hmm. We you have, have sp- each other. We have a spare room. It's true. You know, they say that uh, home is where the heart is. It's not a place. It's a people. I believe whatever you yourselves consider home now is somewhere that I have to find for myself. Where will you go? Perhaps I'll try west. And from there, Whatever the horizon hands me. Good luck to you, then. And all of you. You'll write to us. If you can. I would. If I knew how. Oh, no! <laughs> this whole time? This whole time? You, you can't write? You never knew? Never been a reason to. Well, here. Find someone, someday. Right into this. I'll go in paper bird. I will. Or you can come visit us. Water deep, you said. Yes. Can you read maps? I've done so before. We all right. know. And you can find water deep. It's pretty big. Little tip on finding a new home. Just make sure you look to the brighter side of things this time. Yeah, it sounds I would assume you don't imply that Schultz had a brighter side. No, I'm talking specifically about you. Let's make your way out of Castle Ravenloft and continue down the road further until it comes to a split. One heading south to Barovia and a second heading west. Talman turns. I would warn you to stay out of trouble. That's not going to do any good. I imagine I know you well enough to make a different statement. Enjoy your lives. Watches the very tall Furbolg turns and heads a different path. 
you all make your way downstairs. Oh. I forgot to give him his share of the gold. What gold? We, we have gold? Yeah. When did? We, we've been, like, getting, like, chests and stuff. Well, he's gone now, so. I mean, he's just <laughs> right down the road. He's gold. He doesn't care. He's, okay, he's fine. He, yeah, it's too far. You guys make your way further south and eventually make it to Barovia. Wait, am I going? Now? Yeah. Are you going to stay behind? Yeah. Isn't that part of the... That's right, someone has to rule. Rectavio Is there like a story thing to this is what I'm asking. You can visit Waterdeep. But you will have to come back. Ah, uh, okay. Which is what Esmeralda is doing. Okay. Alright. Unless you want to stay. Yeah, I just I wasn't sure if there was like something that was going to happen, like where it's in game, or if it's more of just a decision thing. It's up to you. Do you want to stay now, or do you want to stay later? Uh, I'll stay later, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Let's make your way to the village of Barovia. Everything looks a lot happier here. <laughs> Did the entire group come with us? Um, uh, uh, Donovich went to go get Doru, and he's going to meet you in Barovia. That's what he told you. Uh, what about Nikolai? I'll ask Nikolai. I'll say you. Uh, Nikolai is also going to stay. He says, well, very good. Uh, I'm going to try to, you know... Uh, Start a new life with my daughter and my sons. Well, maybe it'd be best if you yeah, left Barovia. Your, your wife, wife is likely will do. We'll do. I mean, you can come also come to Waterdeep. Water Water I was thinking know. about that one. So here's, uh, you can work for us. Mm-hmm. What was the name? Don- Donovich? Donovich's son and your daughter seem to be friends. Well, uh, Perhaps you could join? I'll see. Thank you. He goes off. Um, he kind of goes with Donovich. Um, when you guys make your way to the village of Barovia, Ismark kind of goes over and he says, Well... I think I'm going to rule this place. Barovia. Bar- Barovia. Barovia. City. This, uh, the village. Yeah. Uh, do something more with it. So we Your, uh, couldn't bring your sister he's back. Mark the Great. Master. She seems happy. I'm happy for her. She does. You can make this like a tourism place, you know, because it's the first place they come into when they come we'll to Barovia. We'll do that. Yeah. If you de- decide to it's ever fine. come uh, to back to Barovia and visit, uh, we will always welcome you here. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely coming on, back. I plan on having a vacation home here. All right, we will see about that. I plan on eventually living in that cast. Donovi- after about an hour or two, Donovich, um, Doru, um, uh, Donovich and Doru come back, mm-hmm. and um, they uh, uh, Doru is just beaming. He's just like, "You, you guys did it! Mm-hmm. You yeah. did it! I knew you'd do it. Mm-hmm. You can work for us." And he looks up at his dad. He says, "We're going to be doing a lot of working." Oh, okay. He says, and Donovich looks for his sister, water deep then. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't know that I've uh, ever heard of the Morning Lord's name outside of Barovia. Well, we will have to um, fix that. Yeah. It's possible that his name has changed. Does that happen with gods? Yeah, the Duck King's name changed. It's true. Mm-hmm. I also don't know very much about gods. Yeah, neither do I. Maybe Pelor? I do not know. Well, maybe do some research when we get into Waterdeep. You guys begin to walk through the forest that were once haunted and terrifying with the sounds of wolf scree- uh, wolf howls now silent and beautiful. You begin oh, to walk down the terrifying. road. You see the giant iron gate that greeted you the first time you get to Barovia, and it stands open. You guys begin to walk past it, and as soon as you do, there is no wall of fog to stop you. Walk through the forest, continuing further and further and further until you reach a clearing. In this clearing. You can say, dude. <laughs> What's up? It's a tall man with a cat. As you reach this clearing, you see a wagon in the clearing. Oh. And the wagon uh, has, um, uh, uh, has a tarp over it, and there's a horse at it, and there's a man sitting there, just kind of twiddling his thumbs. Kind of looks up and sees you guys make your way in and you recognize him. It's a fucking dude. Is it, yeah, uh, Zelron? Zelron? Yeah. The Wise Owl? Is Zelron Runninghorn. He looks up. What? We did it. You're back. Yeah, yeah. there was a vampire, Cursed Land. 
Yeah, how do promotions work what? when you save like an entire kingdom? Yeah. You what? We save. He hops like... off the wagon. He says, what? "You were just supposed to kill a few werewolves." Yeah, that oh, was an did. accident. We the, did. The getting in with the the rest of it. Um, yeah, you, you were away. gone for five days. Only, Thought you were dead. Only five days. Felt like a lot longer. When we were... how, how long were you gone? A couple a few weeks. weeks. That's what I thought. He looks to the new two people. He brought people. Who yeah, he goes, says, "Oh, we're from the village of Barovia. It's been trapped for hundreds of years." Yeah, if you go down there, and you went to Barovia. Yeah. yeah, that mm-hmm. was. That's supposed to be fabled legends. We right killed Strahd von Zorovich. Vampire. Or we're just crazy. Go see for yourself. Don't bring that up. I don't want to go to jail. But I mean, you can just walk we down will, the road. We will. We will see about a promotion uh, yes. once. Yes, of course. Um, mm-hmm. I will have to speak to my superiors. We know Mert. He's he's good. He's a good guy. Mert in Waterdeep. Yeah. Uh, sure. That's where we're from. That's where we want our promotion. I'll send a letter. You can tell him that we can set up um, like a headquarters in Barovia. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, I'll I'll talk it's to him about castle. that. Mm-hmm. They don't have to be in the castle. Mm-hmm. They want... they can go where Godfrey that was. That explains the surge of magic that came from this area. Yeah, hey, buddy. Hey. Oh yeah. Up here. Was it about uh, thirty minutes ago? Uh, it was more like a few hours ago. Oh yeah, we had to wait for Daru and Don. Interesting. Close enough. Incredible. Mm. People are heroes. Mm-hmm. You want to ride back to Waterdeep? Oh sure. Yes. Yeah. I'm very tired of walking. Get to the back of his wagon, and he kind of sets off, and you guys make your way through the hill, past the village, and into onto a road, and the road just kind of continues further south, and it's just kind of the sun. Hanging in the sky about 1, about 2 p.m. as you guys uh, uh, begin to trail down the road south. And eventually you see the uh, the ocean to the west. Oh, there it is. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> what? Oh, Just cause I, I'm laughing because uh, he didn't know it was by the water. I, I forgot. For <laughs> Esmeralda is just like... It's a big lake, huh? Yeah. Wow. You guys can just see the sun kind of um, glimmering off of it. It's just wa- this incredibly far blue expanse. It is a sight for sore eyes. It is beautiful. Do you know how to swim? It's quite hot. Yeah. It's nice to go down to the... Okay. She sounds like a lot of fun. About a day or two passes. It's been a while since we've just had fun. And eventually, you guys make your way. Seeing again on the horizon. Waterdeep. Just in the distance. Giant sprawling city, walls sitting atop a giant hill right on the coast. It stands there, awaiting you. And whatever will happen next. And that's where we're going to end tonight's game. And we level up. Oh yes, and we level 10. Yes. <laughs> Forgot about that. And we're ending Curse of Strahd for the first time ever. We beat the yeah, game. We yeah, actually yeah. Yeah. we actually did it. Yay! We did it. You guys killed Straw. That's awesome. <laughs> I did not expect you guys to do it tonight. I know. We did it. Jacob and I were talking about it a few hours, uh, uh, probably about like three o'clock, and he was like, "Nah, it's gonna be like two more games." I was I, like, I, "No, I don't think so." There was no way we didn't kill him. It's, I was yeah. like, "We're going straight for him." Like, this it awesome. would have sucked to have to stop halfway through. Today. I know. I know. Yeah. Dang, guys, that was really, really well played. Very, very cool. Very awesome. Those counter spells. Yeah. Oh Those counter spells save our asses. Yeah. Yes, they did. All right. All right. We're gonna we'll see you guys up. next time with the, with the uh, oh yeah. Let's go ahead and roll dice on the level up here. We're gonna go three mm-hmm. bard. It makes so much sense with the song and stuff. Okay. Mm. Hey Logan, Ooh. just to give a little bit of foreshadowing. Five. I need you to level Minecraft to level ten. <gasps> How surprising! I kind of callback of callbacks. I'm gonna kill Even that guy. I deleted his character sheet. Oh no! In order to make room for my character in the game that's already what uploaded. Do you not be ghosts? He doesn't have the subscription. You don't have the subscription. All right, roll you your dice, Iroh. I got a six. I got a five. Nice. Roll your dice. Six. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when I don't watch the eight dice. Eight or maybe eight. Oh. Good job, buddy. Why am I the only one that I got gypped? Talman died of enervation three days later. We will return. <laughs> we will return with the epilogue to uh, Waterdeep and Curse of Strahd. Yeah, we never finished Waterdeep, guys. With a few <laughs> episodes, maybe one or two of Waterdeep, to see how this entire story of this party concludes. What? So, oh man, I really want to tell you what I got for being level ten. I want to know. Okay, uh, I get to add my proficiency bonus 
uh, to any abjuration spells, such as counterspell. God damn it! <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I'm very surprised nobody died. That was crazy. Yeah. All right. I didn't even lose any health. <laughs> yeah, neither so did I. Able to fight. I, didn't take I don't a hit. think I did either. Wait, yeah, no, I did. I took, I took I took a few. I literally died. Yeah, you did. Oof. Well, you went out count. All right, guys. We will uh, see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Um, that was an awesome conclusion. I'm going to have another character. Yay. Yeah. That's the end of the game. Yeah. Woo.